So very good afternoon everyone. So uh, before we start with the session, first let me introduce myself. <laughs> so, hey. so Thank you very much, Lesan. Hello, hello. One second. Hey. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Uh, by the hey. <laughs> so, uh, my, I, I am CA Kaushik Mukesh. <laughs> I am a chartered accountant in practice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so before we start with the session, <laughs> will you stop? First time I came on time. <laughs> 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 uh, from today, every day, FM on dot, it will start because. Uh, uh, I have my reasons because the entire syllabus uh, should be completed in the given time frame. So, uh, yes, because uh, uh, like law, this subject will not be there. This is uh, times more complicated than that. So, because of for that reason, we need to understand each and every point clearly in detail, which takes a lot of time. And moreover, subject itself will be new for you. So, even before we start, First thing, the name of the subject we are going to start is a financial management, paper number 8, CA Intermediate. Uh, I think you know where you are. <laughs> uh, thank you. So, CA Inter, the last paper, paper number 8, will have two parts, A and B. A will be the financial management, B will be economics for finance. Marks apportionment will be 60 and 40, technically it will be 70 and 46, including choice. So, FM will be coming for 70 marks in examination. If you can attempt better in uh, practical paper like FM, you can take choice in economics for finance. Did you get my point? And moreover, the safety with this, uh, 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 no problem, you can. Thank you. No problem. So, huh, oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, before the class, you will die. BP. <laughs> you will get BP unnecessarily. See here. So, the point is, when it comes to financial management, there will be two parts in paper number 8. A will be financial management and B will be economics for finance. Financial management is a part which I am going to take. This will be coming for 60 without choice and 70 with choice. Sometimes 74 marks also came. So patternless, minimum 70 marks. Maximum it can also rose up to 74 sometimes. But I can't give that guarantee. But 70 damn sure will come in exam. So it's a 70 marks paper, financial management with choice. If you can avail the choice in that area, you can give the choice for the economics or finance. That's the best way you can do. And when it comes to financial management, is there any link with the subject like law? If that is the question, first my answer is yes, yes and yes. Reasons are, law there will be no financial management. But to understand law, financial management is required. Reasons are very clear. There are so many concepts in CA inter law like buyback of shares. Buyback of share concept if you take in law, dealt by section number 68. 
buyback financial analysis we will do in fm if you understand financial management properly why provisions are drafted like that you can understand very easily hope you are clear to the point because at the end of the day law will be drafted by the standing committee the standing committee will be formed by two people industry experts and uh, legal experts legal experts are those who are having versatile experience in writing the law industry experts are those who have versatile experience in running the companies so practicality will be learned by industry experts law making skill will be there with the legal experts both blend put together law will be made hope you can understand what i said industry experts will give the financial inputs for example buyback concept is there law maker want to write a section on buyback how can he write with what input information financial experts like uh, who will do analysis on financial management they will tell these are all the financial impacts if you go for a buyback share price will stand stagnated eps will fall like that they will give some information to them whenever companies go for buyback eps will reduce mps will fall like that they will tell listening i purchased the share worth 1000 you went for a buyback share price came to 900 just because of buyback my share price has fallen or not answer yes, then lawmaker will take necessary measures in the law okay since your price is coming down ask shareholders by passing a special resolution did you understand so the financial impact if you understand properly why sections are made you can understand very easily especially ca interlaw chapters like share capital and prospectus general meetings and certain other chapters which are heavily linked with financial management so point number one about this subject let's leave about that financial management as a subject will be having totally eight chapters i will give you the details of each and every chapter books that we are going to prepare from where we will write the notes everything i will show you the clear indication but before even going into that it's my responsibility to tell you what about the syllabus syllabus will be divided into eight chapters four and four study material and nine will be there forget about it i'm not talking about that technically how many chapters are there if that be the case eight chapters will be there overall clear you okay sir i will show you what are the chapters don't write anything this is only for your understanding sake see here see here the subject financial management will be having two parts for the classroom purposes we will divide this into three parts first one financial analysis second one investment analysis third one dividend analysis also called as income analysis listen why financial management is very important at ca inter reason number one here fm forms part of 60 or 70 marks respectively clear at ca final it will take another form called as sfm strategic financial management horrible syllabus will be there you believe me okay horror a literal horror of sfm because here what you see will be 20 30 percent same in final 100 percent syllabus at inter will become 20 percent syllabus at final 
if you learn here 30 40 percent <laughs> then you can skip attempt directly so therefore how good you are in basics that good you will be in uh, final sfm because capital budgeting starts here ends there cost of capital starts here ends there capital structure starts here ends here problem will not be there okay next dividend starts here ends there like that out of eight chapters six chapters start here and end there understood everyone like law like tax how they start here end there how tax start here and end there fm also start here and end there so beginning is worst ending will be too worst take for granted <laughs> worst memory in your life will be financial management so if you don't understand the basics properly at ca inter interest day will not come if you don't listen here their interest day will not come I'm talking about final SFM. So always whenever I take CA final SFM, I will always get two types of students who already, uh, what to say, underwent CA inter coaching of FM and then came to final SFM. They're very comfortable in the discussions that are made. New people will join. Na? For them, exam is for us. First, we need to conduct examination for ourselves. Now, what I need to teach them? Basics again I have to teach. What do you mean by time value of money? What do you mean by cost of capital? Again start from the beginning. That problem will not be there if you have a connected inter continued at final. Before going into that, I will give you another one point. See here. Inter FM will be coming for 60, including choice come for 70. Final it will be called as SFM. 100% practical paper with 100 marks of paper on financial management. This will be paper 2 at CA final. This is paper 8 at CA inter. I mean 8 A. Here A, B is not there. Directly only one paper will be there. Full 100 marks financial management will be there. Or extraordinary core items will be there. On par with the international courses. Examination standard, question standard will be above the mark what we generally estimate. Good questions will be there. Nice analysis will be given. That's about the CA final SFM. And this is a CA inter FM. Clear everyone? Next number two. When it comes to the preparation. Or when it comes to the classes first. What we are going to start with. Questions may arise. We are first going to start with a chapter called as. Cost of capital. What is the concept? Cost of capital. This is chapter number one. There is a zero chapter. Means it is not in syllabus, but without that we can't start syllabus. Time value of money. What is the concept? Time value of money. Everyone listening? First chapter will be the cost of capital. Chapter number two, we are going to start with dividends. What is the next one? Dividends. Dividends. These two, how much interlinked these two are? You can understand once you do the problems in this regard. Clear? Cost of capital and dividends put together will come for 10 marks to 14 marks. This is a weightage of the first two chapters. What are the first two? Cost of capital, dividend. Everything I will make you to write in notes. Okay? Five minutes give me, I will first introduce you to the subject. After that, I will show you what we are going to do in the next coming sessions. Okay? See the screen first. Number three. The third chapter which we are going to start. Most important in entire FM. Capital budgeting. In one of the attempts, this came for 31 marks. Ah, so paper la wherever they open capital budgeting. People who didn't leave, who didn't prepare and left it and went to exam. So, paper they will, question paper they will take. Okay. They will take. In one of the Mr. Bean show, he will take calculus paper instead of trigonometry. Like that question paper is. People has a bad 
very bad habit will be there with the students called as a leaving chapters sometimes see that they will leave capital budgeting gone out of window some attempts are there where is capital budgeting alone came for 31 marks any question they touch capital budgeting any question they touch capital budgeting therefore in our class capital budgeting alone will take around 35 hours that's the highest amount of time taking chapter because lot of analysis 100 pages notes you have to write in class you won't believe give me one minute time i will show you what you need to write also i will show you including number of pages then you will realize the facts see there capital budgeting capital budgeting is not one chapter capital budgeting is a world in itself it's like uh, avengers end game type okay so in the entire syllabus the most important chapter in our syllabus is capital but no doubt in that with no stretch of imagination anyone will tell capital budgeting is the most important chapter in the entire ca syllabus i'm not talking interview final including final i'm telling final will have another analysis called as risk analysis in capital budgeting what it is it is there in ca indra not there in ca indra it is there in ca indra but basics they kept here torture in the final here first degree there second degree and third degree torture okay basics they kept here remaining concepts you will see in ca final so therefore when i say capital budgeting capital budgeting plus risk analysis put together generally you can expect 12 marks to 15 marks in exam last attempt 8 plus 4 12 marks came last attempt immediate last attempt one 8 marks question one 4 marks question theory i didn't see maybe one 2 marks question might come average any attempt you take how many marks sir? means if you do two chapters how many marks are there capital budgeting alone will come for that many marks means if you leave these three you can leave the attempt day you can happily enroll for the next exam are you understanding or not or you didn't prepare these well go to exam hall take question paper no acknowledge that this is not your paper give to them okay give to them go to invisilator mm. so tell come out of exam hall ask them when the next exam applications will be given come out and write again so that's the danger of leaving these chapters three chapters on hit list who are the hit list chapters sir? Uh, very very important capital budgeting and risk analysis these four are these three are four chapters in your book because risk analysis is one chapter capital budgeting is another chapter in the study material clear huh? but we are not going to do that way we are going to merge everything capital budgeting and risk analysis everything we will do together four chapters technically in our class those will be merged into three chapters first we will complete these three if it is 60 marks paper in that 60 technically if you take 12 and 12 almost 25 marks out of the 60 will be completed with the first three chapters say listening everyone yes, listening yes, for this 70 hours will be taken the core of fm 70 hours i have asked for 130 70 will be covered with this first four chapters as per the study study material and module next after that next starts a chapter number four for us five in the study man capital structure theories what is the name capital structure theories this will be coming for six marks in exam next after that listening sir everyone yes, sir. Uh, next once after completion of capital structure financial statement analysis everyone tell me financial statement analysis this will be 8 marks to 12 marks chapter once again what it is 
this chapter is also called as ratios analysis what is this ratios. account started yes, sir. started uh, yes. uh, in that there is a chapter called a single entry system yes, know that it is there in syllabus yes, ah very good ah sorry it may not be single entry in the book in book it will be written as accounts of in uh, sorry accounts from incomplete records if you don't even know the syllabus of accounts om namah shivaya forget about everything okay so you must know what is the syllabus accounts from incomplete records also called as a single entry system this chapter will be 50 to 60 percent similar to that of it very easy chapter once you understand the core basics clearly so this is the fifth one financial statements analysis next sixth one leverages what is the name of the chapter leverages this will come for five marks to eight marks in exam last one working capital management which one working capital management 10 marks chapter again okay this is how they will in general gives the question paper in the pattern okay from this the moral of the story syllabus is limited limited in the sense there are no what to say intruding boundaries where questions can come outside the syllabus that concept will not be there fm itself whether in inter final they don't give out of syllabus questions etc boundary will be there for your syllabus limited number of chapters final sfm 14 chapters inter fm 7 8 chapters sorry 8 chapters we divided that into 7 so 8 year 14 there syllabus will not be seems to be very huge voluminous syllabus will not be there but voluminous data will be there means you have to remember the things clear everyone there are two ways of doing fm way number 1 doing as a question answer question answer formula this is way number 1 which i never follow if that has to be done i will stop teaching fm happily i will go for alternative so first point is any formula anything written on the notes should have some logic say for example a plus b whole square will have a equation why that came is our intention in class it is not a square plus b square plus 2ab that everyone know but why is a question here dy by dx there will be some meaning dy by dx equal to 2x i said why what is the meaning of that that we are going to learn here sir why dy by dx will come sir now i said two things one is a plus b whole square next one dy by dx derivations both will be there in fm fm includes maths totally again fm la maths will be seen in a different way formulas analysis so mathematics will come in a different form maths as mathematics will not come but math will come in a different form here it takes a separate view so listen listen stat statistics la did you remember the concept called as a mean very good variance yes, very good deviation yes, very good standard deviation yes, very good correlation yes, very good covariance yes, eh hey, over action eh why it will one second one second ca foundation stats la covariance correlation all these things are there or not yes, sir. everything will come again <laughs> sir which chapter sir tell the name of the chapter at that time i will not come to the class capital budgeting <laughs> uh. sir i will not believe you sir just for fun sake you are telling sir i will show that fun in ica website hello 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 see here some students will again make a false allegation on me sir you opened uh, 
uh, in uh, foundation statistics uh, so see here intermediate <laughs> intermediate intermediate in intermediate which one uh, click here shall i click here ding 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 jang jang ding ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பார்ட்டே என்ன ப்ராபபிலிட்டிஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாப்டர் வேரியன்ஸ் செகண்ட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டீவியேஷன் தேர்ட் கோஎபிஷியன்ட் ஆஃப் வேரியேஷன் ஃபோர்த் One second, see here. Please, be there once. Sir, if you listen, I can tell something. Please, see here. Uh, see here, no? Ek bar dekho. Bar bar dekho. Hazar bar dekho. Dekho. Uh, kya hai boat pe? Importance of variance, standard deviation, in capital budgeting point number 1 capital budgeting is important or unimportant ah uh, in capital budgeting to be important if you want to get 15 marks out of 15 marks in capital budgeting you need to do half capital budgeting or full uh, in that full what is there uh, uh, along with this so many mathematics techniques will come not in capital budgeting which chapter it will come sir i will leave for that chapter at least first chapter cost of capital <laughs> so therefore you have no choice of leaving the class so first point you have to do the answers i think you might have seen this symbol also somewhere <laughs> somewhere you might have seen <laughs> sir past is past somehow i passed <laughs> so don't again go back to past i forgot everything so you, uh, you have no choice we have to understand fun and part but you have to understand so many capital budgeting techniques la we will be using statistics math will come again so don't think that i am saying from some joke sake or what but it is very serious we have to prepare we have to understand what do you mean by variance covariance correlation standard deviation everything again you have to understand not in theoretical sense it has to be understood in a practical way what really is the difference between variance to covariance covariance variance means root of sigma i mean standard deviation root of sigma x minus x bar whole square by n yes sir no yes sir when you do covariance sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by n probability not given if probabilities are given sigma p into x minus x bar into y minus y bar like that they will write from the faces of so many students i understood you didn't prepare anything <laughs> as if for the first time in life you are listening you are putting faces so it is my imperative duty to tell you that we have to understand why we will multiply x minus x bar into y minus y bar why why i should not add and divide by n why they multiply why root will come when you calculate standard deviation why we have to square x minus x bar whole square what is x bar x bar not just bar <laughs> ah thank you very much chale sir so y x minus x bar y it is deviation adhe y answer so like that so many questions will be still unanswered at foundation we are going to fill all the gaps so understanding the real meaning of a formula there will be around 45 formula will be there in your full fm final there will be around 110 112 will be there you have to not just remember the formula you should understand the meanings behind why they came what is the meaning of this formula if in class 
i write any formula you have every liberty to ask what is the meaning i will not generally give you any chance to point out that any of the formula was unexplained if at all i forget to explain any kind of formula you can happily ask in the class what i want to convey with ultimate confidence is any 50 of the formula will be there any formula if you take i will tell you the meaning logic interpretation derivation how that formula has come clear everyone yes, every formula when i say every formula not uh, selected formula every single formula whatever we write will have a logic behind because they don't write formula illogically because unless and until with a hypothesis you prove math department will not accept your formula so there should be some logic behind everything that we need to understand so you can see the chapters from the study mat first one is a theory leave off second one also theory those two i will give as a theoretical notes from third chapter onwards it starts what is the first one financial analysis also called as what ratio analysis next one cost of capital next one uh, capital structure next one leverage stop there this is only tables pv factor tables will be there those table leave off that is not a syllabus appendix next one again seventh what is that next day risk analysis in capital seventh one in our notes it is called as capital budgeting that investment decisions another name is called as capital budgeting the king of entire fm capital budgeting next one ninth one last one will be management of working capital that's all 10 chapters in study mat one financial tables is not a chapter is only pv factors leave out two theory chapters if you leave totally how many are there seven that's what the seven i have written clear everyone in our class every three chapters i will give you the schedule first we are going to start with three already i said you number one cost of capital number two number two dividends number three will be that's all first let us understand these three chapters once these three chapters are understood next two chapters schedule also i will give after that clear so first we are going to start with three cost of capital dividends but today's class first we have to complete one small area which you already have touched in maths in ca Inter ca foundation called as a time value of money you might have already done but you are going to see it in a different angle altogether how financial management this concept of time value of money will play a crucial role let us try to understand that in detail before that understand the subject of finance finance is a world in itself maybe at ca inter level you are not that much mature to understand how the financial markets will run but you have to example for sake i will tell you finance is such an area which is having the career itself when i say career is there it is a subject which is having its own recognition as a certification examples i will tell you if you complete ca after that there are some courses like cfa clear chartered financial analyst c f a globally recognized uh, uh, career opportunity that will be having only finance inside it nothing more than finance nothing lesser than finance out and out syllabus of finance only will be there clear everyone if you want to see yourself as a stock brokers like rakesh junjunwala warren buffett these kind of people okay if you want to do analysis on stock markets the only certification available in the entire world two certifications are there number one either you have to become a cfa graduate certified license holder of uh, cfa second cma us what is the next one cma us these certificate courses you can do without ca sir i need to qualify ca to do this there to do these two no graduation completed you can enroll for any of these two courses worldwide recognition globally recognized companies like uh, pwc deloitte kpmg ey grand thornton goldman sachs invesco franklin templeton capgemini 
all these kinds of big big multinational companies will hire the financial analysts so who will have better versatile knowledge in financial management for that this is your first steps the first steps of financial management because in life you might not have seen financial management any time before because no way, there is no chance because the word finance will come and translate to money in school you need not learn about money in college is also same in foundation they don't make you to learn it becomes more complicated so therefore finance st starts at enter ends with death i not telling financial management subject without finance who will live there are two things which are omnipresent number one god number two money okay anyone who touches with expertise on any of these two will reach heights number one god okay i didn't see you didn't see second one money everyone has seen but we don't have any clarity about how to manage it so this syllabus is talking about managing money how to manage the money in my pocket 100 rupees is there how to multiply it not by taking others pocket la 100 rupees <laughs> i can understand some people almost they are about to tell that answer by taking 100 from another person how to multiply your 100 what are the modes of multiplication how stock markets actually works these are the things that we are going to learn clear and next one very important uh, time and again i am been telling you the same this subject as a financial management you can learn in two ways number one mugging a formula without having a conceptual clarity just writing formula answer formula answer formula answer 60 hours we can complete fm 60 hours we can complete fm did you understand what i said everyone fast track batch for fma i'm taking around 100 hours means you can imagine so it will not be completed so easily you have to understand every concept clearly so for that it requires that additional effort to be put in the class for that one thing is very much required i will at least twice in a week i will bring you a particular newspaper called as a business line did you understand what i said business line financial management subject if you want to create interest the first and foremost thing is you should know how the markets actually works stock market i am talking about you should know how stock market works when stock market will open when stock market will close some basics we should know or not all those things i will take care about that in class and uh, every day candlesticks uh, trading charts will be there sir how to understand that a question will arise always whenever time permits i will analyze the trading charts okay i will show you the website also which website you need to see to understand trading charts patterns you can zoom it for around five six times in that particular website it will take you to the lowest level of detail how the price is moving every second it will show clear website name is a trading view i will show you on the screen in another two three days once we come to cost of capital i can show you trading view their charts will be available charts means trading charts every day trading will be happening na trading charts will be given clearly how really the impacting the trading charts are how to understand basic terminology clear when our classes are conducted during daytime i can show you how to buy a share trading hours closes at four o'clock i mean 3 40 it will close so every single day it is not possible saturday sunday holiday for stock market i think you know this basic saturday sunday stock market do not work monday to friday derivatives market na thursday ne close settlement will be done on thursdays so how to buy a share how to sell a share how to give lot sizes what do you mean by aftermarket orders what do you mean by stop loss so many doubts people will get when they open a demat account i will open a demat account i will show you how my demat account is working if you buy a share what will happen if you sell a share what will happen background work of stock exchange what it will do everything let us analyze very clearly when the time permits i will definitely 100 percent i will show you that 
how to analyze the trading charts meanings of certain words used in stock markets everything from the basics we will learn each and every point whenever it is required and time is permitting us clear everyone next issue newspaper one should have a habit of reading the newspaper actually i don't read newspaper physically i have ipad therefore i use it to read academic line also every time only in academic times or business line these are the two financial magazines released in india every day daily newspaper one is economic times second one will be business line if you could not buy no problem if you, you have mobile phone na instead of opening all those open this i mean icai website like that so go to the uh, particular portal and open that you will have a great analysis every day market movements which share raise which share fall analysis editorials everything will be available for that the first requirement is sir how to read newspaper is a question one the reading newspaper itself is a problem because i am not joking really so many of you sitting here will not even know where to start the newspaper yes sir no where to start from the first page ah huh? first page is only to attract you therefore nothing will be there in page 1 so where to go in a newspaper mid sports page illa i know last page or sports page i am not talking about middle page if you take there will be a concept called as editorial every single day take any newspaper in india need not be financial magazines any newspaper middle page either before or after editorials will be written which is generally unbiased they will write editorials financial editorials na fantastic way they will write last day if any company has a had a steep downfall what happened in that company internally everything they will give if a company is have makes a profit how the stock market reacted to the profits made everything they will analyze in that you need not buy anything i will show you on the screen don't buy newspapers unless you will not read them eventually those number will grow so therefore you need on but i will make you to learn how to read it clear everyone you start like this na down the line another 5 6 years you will become expert in trading you will understand then you will show some enthusiasm to do the foreign courses like cma us cfa who will do all these who have a understanding about finance at the ca level na they will now understand the importance okay i can have a good clarity on inter fm fine less fm why can't i do international course clear hopefully you can understand what i said very much a demanding courses in the world cpa cma cfa these are the three most curated courses throughout the globe now internationally accredited and uh, having their validation throughout the globe they are having validation now including india why finance has become a global topic today it is not just india or usa etc hope you are clear point everyone so with that intent we are going to start our syllabus the first chapter we are going to start is time value of money For, without that don't start financial management even before that point number 1 this particular financial management will form part of section a in paper number 8 everyone in the class i mean to say everyone means exactly everyone don't come to the class without study material clear everyone why reason i will tell you financial management completely put together institute study material contain about 300 problems did you get my point everyone more than enough for the examinations clear everyone directly questions will come with a change in numbers don't buy any book any book is inferior to institute study material did you get my point so i am writing the sources of preparation from where number 1 icai study material for problem solving only not for concept bad concept discussion worst to be very frank second the usp of our classes 
USP, unique selling proportion of our class is class notes. You write this, you will see the impact after writing. Okay? Once anyone see your notes, how many people will take Xerox, you will know. Believe my words. Believe my words today. Note the time of date. <laughs> 2.58 April 3rd. Okay? Afternoon 2.58. Exactly after 10 days. Please remind me on 13th of April. Okay? 14th holiday, na? that's why. Uh, 13th of April, again by 3 o'clock in afternoon. You will see the change in yourself, how we are going to approach towards the financial management. Okay? So please listen carefully. Class notes is the most important thing. Good reasons are there. Number one, class notes will contain full theory. Problems taken from ICA study material. ICA study material will have three kinds of problems. Examples, illustrations, practical questions. First one, examples. Second, illustrations. Third one, practical questions. These two we will cover in a fast track. Examinator, whatever you call. Everything we have to cover in the regular batch. Did you get my point or not? Examples and illustrations will give you 70 to 90 percent of the clarity. Conceptual clarity 100 percent. Any problem you can do. But practical questions if you do, any of the concept, whatever you learned previously, two, three concepts are there, they will merge into one question and give in practical questions. Nothing new you are going to learn in practical, but the only thing is how a answer should be given when consolidated questions come. Did you understand? I will give you a classic example. Capital budgeting, there is a concept, please. Capital budgeting, there is a concept called as NPV. Second concept, IRR. Third one, payback. Fourth one, accounting rate of return. Four topics are there. Illustrations, four topics independently we will discuss. Thank you, sir. Four topics independently we will discuss in uh, illustrations. Clear? Yeah. Practical questions, what they will do is in the same question they will ask all the four. Did you get my point or not? Ah, therefore, nothing great here, but the most important thing is illustrations. Very, very important. Core for your syllabus. The illustrations what institute will give. Did you get my point everyone? Uh, I repeat once again, listen. Sources of preparation. Number one is a study material. Complete study material we are going to cover. Second one will be class notes. This is a USP in itself. So just to show you how it will be, not just one chapter, I will show you the third chapter we are going to start with. What is the topic name? Please see the screen once. I am making it full screen. Just to make you understand what we are going to do in the class, please see the screen once. Every chapter will have a learning objectives. Introduction to capital budgeting. Like this. Each and every question will be analyzed. Please. So any question. Here, if you see there, what is written? I1 means what? Yeah. Illustration 1. Study material, what illustration number it is, I will give there. Illustration 1. Means all these answers are given as per? ISM. Answers exactly will tally. Model, best model we will do. Clear. Institute sometimes uses some rogue models no one can understand. I don't know why they do like that. I will show you also when it comes. But still, better ways of uh, doing the answers are there. Like this, we are going to present everything. Now question. Sir, what I need to do with this? You have to write everything. 
everything sir for example this is given sir i need to write everything everything okay each and every point given here you have to read nothing not even a single page i will share okay you have to write in the class okay so the moral of the story is maintain a 200 pages if not 300 pages ruled notes some people are thinking sir beginning accounts sir ending with auditing i started sir middle the tax is there somewhere in the middle costing is there now where to write fm maintain a separate book i am telling you very clearly later you will feel very bad why i have written in this mix book listen please maintain a separate book for fm minimum 250 pages notes you have to write it takes time but still the clarity will uh, remain forever in life so therefore please try to understand this is a subject which is a foundation here clear so finally it will show lot of impact so please write down the notes properly did you understand everyone and i will i am telling you very seriously fm completely different from law when the pattern of teaching comes to be very frank if i have to tell i love fm than law so you have seen me in law right huh, everyone yeah. you can take it is a times better than law so i literally I, I, this is my all time favorite subject financial management at inter sfm at a ca final these two subjects are so lively subjects one at fm and another is sfm so please listen carefully each and every concept you need to understand the logics it is not just like a question or answer clear everyone so time value of money we are going to start with everyone have these separate notes for fm yes, sir. everyone yes, sir. Ah, next at least have five colored pens if sir i don't have sir after the break go and buy you want sponsorship program ah okay thank you i will and again every listen every three to four days in every three days remember all these things every three to four days in the class we will have a talent hunt <laughs> which i like the most when i teach ca final fm also sfm what i used to do is we will complete some portion of syllabus na? one worst case problem i will give i'm telling about problem not a person who is kishor yaradi who is that nia why you are so popular no they made you popular so listen when it comes to a concept that is completed i will give you one worst case scenario problem say example we started with cost of capital first we start with cost of capital sir we will complete it to some extent we will complete or not three or four days after i will give you one question on the screen that question you can't find anywhere in study material because that's a final question <laughs> okay i will give you one question relevant to our syllabus but question gave in ca final those type of questions i will give you clear or not everyone answer yes, anyone in the class if they do that answer correctly with regard to that particular topic okay either a direct cash prize or i will give you one of the best books available in the market with regard to any subject for you not ism <laughs> ISM is I can print out and give no not ISM best books I know okay so the best books available in the market are you understanding this is only for one good reason you should understand the pleasure of learning the financial management 
Financial management don't see it as a subject for 70 marks, uh, final uh, subject for 100 marks. It's a life, uh, it's a career in itself. So many uh, thousands of people, if not wrong, are living on this subject called as financial management. Stock markets, uh, investment banking, so many areas the people are going into that. So therefore, keeping that futuristic visionary point in view, let us understand the financial management in its uh, truest sense. Uh, like not just reading and answering, reading and answering. Let's not do like that. Clear everyone? So let us start with our first chapter in financial management. Okay, na? So let's begin. Write the notes. Keep the heading. So we are going to start with our first chapter. Chapter 1, Time Value of Money. Though this chapter is not separately covered in your syllabus, without understanding this, you can't even take one step forward in financial management as a subject. So therefore, please take reasonable care in understanding this. Don't think that I am just joking. Seriously, I am telling you, time value of money, if you understand, you can understand capital budgeting properly. Capital budgeting, 40% is a time value of money and will get repeated in a different way. If you understand here, you can understand capital budgeting properly. Not to create interest on this chapter, I am not making this statement. Or else I would have told you cost of capital it is relevant. Capital budgeting chapter is a very much interlinked with the chapter called as time value of money. If you understand this properly, you can understand it. Uh, capital budgeting chapter with more clarity or else again I have to repeat all those there clear so now listen carefully to the point the name of the chapter is time value of money question first arises what do you mean by time value of money there are shall I continue yes, there are two things technically three words of lever Time, value, money. Three words are there. One is a time. Another one is a value. Another one is a money. Financial management subject will do only one work. Valuation. What it will do? Valuation. In foundation, I gave you one example to you. Same example I will repeat once again to make you understand the importance of this. There are two words, price value. Everyone? Price. Everyone? Price. Second one? Value. Example I can tell you. Water bottle 300 ml. Maybe 250 grams weight may be there for this uh, including the bottle. 250 grams including the bottle. Maybe 250 grams may be there. Okay, a 300 ml bottle. Maybe 250 grams. 250 grams, weight I am talking about. Later, okay, 300 ml. Weight, 250 grams. 250 grams gold biscuit is there. Listening. Which of the two will have more value? 250 grams gold, which will be having more price here? 250 grams gold, 250 grams weight of water. Answer, gold. obviously gold. Clear everyone? Ah, now answer my question. I kept you in a room where I will not supply you with water for around 6 to 7 days. I said, you want water or you want 250 grams of gold? Water. Answer, yeah. Water. Now tell me, which is having more value? That's the difference between price and value relationship. Are you understanding the point or not? Understanding the value of something is the need for financial management. Market la prices are there. I don't want those bloody prices. I want its worth, value. Are you understanding? You go to Dubai, UAE, Qatar, Lebanon, Muscat, any place. Ask them, do you want gold or water reserves? If you, if you plow inside the land, 
you will get water if you plow inside the land you will get gold which they will prefer Ajay. so therefore what is the logic that you have to understand here water has more value gold has more price are you understanding the point or not in fm for the products also we will calculate the value listen again i will repeat share will have price in the market we call it market price answer yes, sir. price in the market is called as what price market. price in the market is called as what price market price market price is the price quoted in the market is called as a market price a share is trading in the market at 100 rupee is it really worth 100 huh, you told you no some people said who told you it may be it may be higher it may be lower i repeat once again a share is trading in the market at a price of at a price of 100. at a price of 100. really it may be worth 100 it may be worth more than 100 it may be worth less than 100 100 is 100 is Price. but the real value worth can be either less than that equal to that more than that i want to value these three in fm so fm concentrates on valuation ah pricing ah so pricing ah pricing is taken by costing costing looks after pricing fm looks after valuing now understood the relation between those two or not who will fix price water bottle price who will fix cost department will fix how much is the cost of this uh, uh, cap what is the cost of this uh, cutting pot what is the cost of molding this what is the cost of buying this plastic what is the cost of filling per unit basis so they will calculate raw material work in progress finished goods uh, overheads uh, prime cost uh, cost of production cost of goods sold cost of sales uh, target profit log like that they will calculate on this that is all which department there we talk about pricing and costing fm is talking about uh, therefore time price of money uh, time value of money uh, that's how the name value came are you understanding the point or not so we are not going to discuss about pricing we are going to discuss about valuation that's why costing the chapters are cost sheet material cost labor cost overhead cost joint and byproduct cost process cost batch cost contract cost operating cost operational cost sunk cost fixed cost variable cost semi variable cost these are all pricings are you understanding or not those many will not be there here only one thing what is that value 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 and value fm entirely ca final sfm syllabus i will read just to listen first chapter securities valuation second chapter portfolios valuation third chapter mutual funds valuation fourth one corporate valuation fifth one bonds valuation sixth one companies valuation in mergers acquisition seventh one options valuation eighth futures valuation ninth other derivatives valuation tenth uh, next one is uh, forex valuation eleventh ifm international financial management here most of the times what you heard value 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 entire fma valuation sir i don't believe you go to ici website instead of going and stopping at enter click final you see what is there all valuation models here what is valuation chapter sir can you please explain me where valuation is involved in my subject in ca inter first chapter a cost of capital valuation you will value the cost of equity cost of debt valuation you will do there second chapter dividends valuation third third 
ये कैपिटल मशीन का वैल्यूएशन इज नॉट देयर देयर यू विल डू एसेट वैल्यूएशन व्हाट वैल्यूएशन आसला चैप्टर टोटली वैल्यू 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 एवरीवेयर आई हेट वैल्यूज बट वैल्यूज लाइक मी सो वेयर एवर यू सी वैल्यू 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 एवरीवेयर वैल्यू नथिंग विल बी देयर सो let us try to understand clearly this particular chapter called as a time value of money first point everyone understood the point clearly or not yes sir answer yes sir please keep the heading in the notes sir. time value of money time value of money each and every point let us understand clearly in detail lot of discussion will be there but still first let me start with the basics shall we continue yes, uh, see here see here i will write some formula first tell me do you know them or not i am not asking logic etc i will explain i am just asking you do you ever seen them first time in life or at least you know you are acquainted with those formula at foundation pv equal to fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n have you ever gone through this formula yes, no thank you f e equal to p v into 1 plus r whole power n yes sir no yes, sir. this is nothing but reciprocation here nothing great i have written any if you have seen this and if a person said i didn't see this which museum is available immediately after this place we have to look after are a second formula is nothing but refurbished model of the first formula have you ever gone these two formula or not yes sir everyone yes sir these two are these two are base formula for F sfm or fm entirely using these three two formula only everything will get repeated in some or the other way small differences may come but the logic will be always sustained pv equal to fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n fv equal to pv into 1 plus r whole power n logic we need to understand not the formula ah this what i told foundation level what is required to know this formula put the numbers in this formula answer will come that's all enough but inter it should not happen why pv what is this what is this r meaning of this n how to understand this future value why we are dividing all these things if you understand fulfillment will be there for the formula everyone understood the point that's what we are going to do did you understand what we are going to do in the class we are not going to do harikatha uh here we are going to understand the meanings behind the formula why you write something clear so before even going into that keep the heading time value of money first one need for the chapter everyone one small uh, request to everyone maintain only ruled books don't maintain white pages in exam ruled book only will be given at that time if you want to be comfortable in writing write in the ruled book in the class and second very important thing how many of you don't have calculators re why you target him here everything kishor kishor sir answer how many of you have calculators with you everyone no borrowing me thank you great people take calculators out what you are doing pooja take calculators out work start from the very beginning sir fm is not theory subject everywhere number say will be there so please
first one please topic number 1 need for the chapter time value of money need for the chapter time value of money and moreover another thing please listen i spend hours and hours hours and hours days together to write the notes because first i started with ca final sfm completed writing 963 pages hand notes i have completed after that i started with this fm so i started it with a pre, uh, intention that i should complete each and every point in the study material in a way times better than the study material problems i will do from ism only but analysis should not be ism analysis it should be times better than it so with that intent i have written the notes very clearly so please listen i spent so many number of hours sleepless nights though many people tried to disturb me okay i used to write the notes write the notes write the notes many people tried to disturb me every single day but still i try to write 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 the answers so only for one good reason because i am determined enough i should complete this so therefore how many chapters are there totally are there eight chapters seven chapters notes completed one chapter pending working capital i am doing now working capital also four sub topics are there one sub topic already over and the three sub topics are there by the time we come to first 10 days classes it will be completed okay first point we are going to understand what is the need for the chapter time value of money let us understand the meaning there are three words money value and time i didn't bring my bag any one can give me 200 rupee notes or to 500 rupee notes if 2000 also i will take but will not return back <laughs> then you will understand value my bag is not here. thank you uh, i received 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 500 say received one uh, multi billionaire came <laughs> bro this is unexpected 500 to 500 sir name rishi kanna shout for him from today <laughs> happy uh. listen hey see here see here now eh wow reaction ekkada vena so listen my point is if possible is it visible this is a 500 rupee note you can believe okay na how much 500 tell me what is this another 500 please answer my please please answer my question clearly we have two 500 notes with us i will ask you a question just to basically answer this nothing financial management required everyone has a god gifted common sense using that you answer don't prove that uh, you don't have using basic common sense okay tell me in these two 500 notes which 500 note is more valuable first 500 uh, more value this 500 less well is there any such concept no, answer no, tell me left hand one find right hand one find that which find that will have more value no, both are having same. same value i go to a shop give this 500 i bought something okay in that shop if i give this 500 also same thing he will give or if i give this 500 note he gave me 500 notes for this he don't give six for this you don't give four same 500 notes will come now tell me both are having same value or different value same value answer same value very good now let me change this okay see here see here see here now tell me one 500 note is forwarded one 500 note is a backwarded 500 note means i said you this 500 i will give you today 
this 500 i will give you after one year did you understand yes, i kept two 500 notes before you okay i said one 500 note i will give you today one 500 note i will give you after one year choose which 500 you want use common sense god gifted i said okay ah uh, one more time i am repeating for those who are not in this world come back i repeat how many final notes i have two final notes of which final is more valuable same value or different value? same value next i said i will give one 500 today one 500 after one year which 500 you will prefer today, today 500 uh, future 500 uh? Answer here. Yeah. Now, today's 500 is in left hand. Tomorrow's 500 is in the right hand. Now, tell me which 500 is more valuable for me, for you? Yeah. Left hand. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Previously, you said both are having same value. Now, you are saying one 500 is having a more value or not? Yes, this change comes not because of change in person. Same question case is holding. This change does not come because of change in 500 note. Same 500 note is there. This change has come because of the change in timing. Therefore, what changed the value here? That's why time value of money is the name of this chapter. Money will change its value not because of person holding it. Not because of the currency. Because of what? The time that is involved. If you receive both today, both are equal. If you receive one today and one in future, people will prefer today's money only over the tomorrow's money. Clear or not everyone? Yes, Tell me, in the given example, in the given example, what I said you now, 500's example, today's 500 is more valuable, uh, future prime, uh, uh, 500 is more valuable. Today's Answer, yeah? Today's is more valuable than Futuristic 500. Yes or no? Yes, this is because of many reasons. Passage of time will lead to so many things. Number one, uncertainty. I said I will give another 500 after one year. After one year, I may run away. After one year, you may not be there. <laughs> means not there. <laughs> not there means not there in my immediate vicinity to come and pay you. Okay, sir, I may not be there or you may not be there or both are there in the same place but I may become bankrupt. Anything can happen. Future is certain or uh, uncertain? Uh? uncertain? Answer. Uncertain. One hour after what will happen, we can't predict. So you are directly telling one year after. One year after you may be there, may not be there, I may be there, may not be there. Both are there but I don't have intention to pay after one year. Anything can happen. So the problem is when the time is passing by, uncertainty will increase or decrease? decrease. Not answering. Increase or decrease? decrease. Huh? decrease. Now you answer me. Uncertainty is increased means risk is increased or decreased? Start from the beginning once again. Tell me. Same like la, I won't go to the next step unless I get perfect right answer from 100% of the class. So please listen again. Two final notes I have shown you. Both are in on same date. Same value or different value. Same value. Very good. One 500 will come after one year. One 500 will come today. One 500 will come after one year. Now tell me which is given a more value. Reason? Future is uncertain. Clear? So, future is uncertain. Future is uncertain means, if I, if I say that I don't want this 500, today I said I will give you 500. Clear? Huh? Yes, or else I will give future 500. You will tell, I will take today's 500. Because, if I take today's 500, nah, I can use it today itself. If I wait for one year, I can use that final only after one year. Today's 500 is better. Future 500 is better. Yes. You will choose the today's 500. Obviously. Okay. Now. Why? Because of uncertainty of future. Tell me. When uncertainty is there, risk will be increased or decreased? Increased. Huh? Increased. 
increase. When risk is increased, you will ask more return or high return. Sir, BCom and CA, you qualified both. You will ask salary of BCom for salary of CA. Na? Where more risk is involved? CA. Once we join, there is no guarantee that we will complete. First point, risk number one. Huh? Example, yeah, not for you. Don't, every example what I give, don't find your place in that example that's why you are taking coaching okay listen point is first risk number one there is no guarantee of passing through number one clear or not everyone yes, number two lengthy course of four four and a half years number three lot many subjects lot of analysis people like me will in, in intermediately come and torture you these many risks are there in cna b comma answer you qualified. They said, I will give you 15,000 salary. Happy or unhappy? Become. Only become. Three years. Ten times also he didn't go to college. Degree certificate came on hand. They are telling 15,000. He is happy or unhappy? Happy because risk taken or not taken? Low risk. Low return. High risk. Risk will come for certainty or uncertainty? I join CA. Certain to pass, uncertain. Therefore, it has a risk in it. Are you understanding or not? Yes, Therefore, market pays 10 lakh, 12 lakh, 14 lakh, like that they are starting the payments for chartered accountants means because that much risky course it is. If you complete that risky course, na, you will become more risky. So, therefore, for risky people, they will pay high return. Therefore, they will pay high amounts, 14 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, like that they are going on paying. Summary I want to tell, listen carefully. More risk? More less risk? Less risk? That's all. High risk? High low risk? Low BCom? Low CA? High 500 today? He is always having a high premium because future life you promise me a 500 may happen, may not happen. You may, be, may not be there, I may not be there. Clear or not everyone? Yes, or both are there. I may not be capable of paying uh, the amount after one year due to various reasons. Future is certain or uncertain. <laughs> risky or not risky? risky. Answer? Risky. For risk what you should ask? <laughs> For risk, high lower keep off. Risk you should ask what? Yes. Everyone. Yes. Everyone. Yes. You should ask what? Return. Yes. For the risk taken. The return what you ask is called as time value of money. Money has some value. Ask some value from the money. When they tell, money is going to come in future. Means, attach some value. Today's 500, tomorrow's 550. Which will have more value? Both has same value. Did you understand my point or not? I said today I will give you 500. One year after I will give you 550. Which you will prefer? Both you can prefer because today I took 500. I kept in a bank. 10% interest. How much I will get after one year? Both are same now. Are you understanding the point or not? So time value of money means whenever you are going to take a futuristic money it should not just equal to today's money. It should pay something more. Clear everyone in the class? Yes, I will give you one question. Please answer this. 500 received today. Another 500 received today. Both are having how much value? Same, Same okay. How much value? Amount. 500 and 500. Clear everyone in the class? Yes, one 500 I will receive today. One 500 after, one 500 I will receive today. One 500 I will receive after one year. Clear, huh? Clear, huh? Yes, Which will have more value? Today. Today's 500. Future I will receive how much? Future I will receive how much? That means, today, it will not have 500 value. It will have lesser than 500 value. Reason say we are going to discuss in this chapter. Why is the reason? That answer for that question, why future cash flow will not have, will not have? 
सेम वैल्यू लाइक प्रेसेंट कैश लो इज़ द सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ़ दिस चैप्टर मींस इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ़ टाइम ऑन मनी व्हेन नेवर टाइम इन्फ्लुएंस फॉल्स ऑन मनी वी शुड आस्क सम वैल्यू दैट वेज द चैप्टर नेम कॉल्ड एस ए टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी this is how the chapter has come so summary everyone understood the concept clearly yeah so many concepts are there all those concepts i will discuss step by step clearly but before going into that there are three words number one time number two value number three money my question is last question for you with regard to the introduction money influences time or time influences money or vice versa money can influence time or not it cannot if i pay money can time go back no. sir i pay money can you take me 10 years forward no. that means what is influencing what time. time is influencing money money is not influencing time therefore everything whatever we see in financial management one thing is very very important n number of months number of years number of days will play a crucial role sir without n can i do any problem none of the problems you can do without n hope you are understanding yes, sir. always financial financial management talks about time 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 every time 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 is not written in t it will be written in n number of months number of days number of years clear everyone in the class sir yes, understood the point up to here sir first with no hesitation please tell me i am i clear up to here of whatever we discussed yes sir understood everyone yes sir what is the introduction chapter we started time value of money in financial management in financial management 500 received today always remember today in financial management is called zero one year will be called one two years will call two zero has a great value in financial management zero represents today one means one year after after one year not beginning of first year when i write one in financial management it means what first year end uh, if i write 12 what does it mean 12th year end end of 12th year clear or not everyone zero today don't tell end of today over action it will be zero means what everyone zero one after one year one year after seven means beginning of seventh year ending of seventh year this is one very very important concept you need to remember dividend chapter like this will be more useful second chapter clear everyone before we go into the next topic please listen every time fm syllabus sfm fm finance world what is the most important number zero zero has a lot of impact clear because zero year is called as today one means one year end end of first year Two means end of second year. Ten means end of tenth year, not beginning. Listening or not, everyone? Yes, sir. Listen now. So this is the first one. How to understand the time? Okay. Next, this is the first one. Second one. Whenever I talk about time value of money, time we understood. money also we understood time we understood money also we understood in middle the most complicated word is there value surrealistically one example we have taken two 500 notes i have taken both belong to same same time frame today which 500 has more value means with no stretch of imagination everyone has said both are having same value i am asking you everyone yes, in another case i said 
One five hundred will come today. One five hundred will be given after one year. Me again with no stretch of imagination, you selected the today's five hundred. Yes, yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. That means without knowing FM also, common sense has been given by God through which you can understand the situations. Yes, but apply some amount of financial sense. See here now. Time, impact, money, no doubt. But how the valuation will be? There are two types of values. From here, complication will come. Listen, two types of value. Everyone, how many? Two Everyone, how many? Two First one, present value of future money, future value of present money. Time, time, TVM. Time, value of. Money. Time influencing money or money influencing time? time influencing money. Understood up to there? Yes, sir. 500 rupees received today. 500 rupees received after one year. We'll have same value or different. Yes. Which one will you choose? Today. That means timing is what? Changing your decision making or not? Yes. Say for one thing we have concluded. Time influences money. Now the value can be of two types. Number one will be Present value of future money. Everyone answer. Present value of future money. Second category is future value of present money. There are two types will be there. Present value of future money, future value of present money. Sir, I didn't understand. I will explain in the most easiest format. Listen carefully. A person can ask you two types of questions. See the screen. I will write the number, you tell me the meaning. Zero. Na. Unexpected answer. Zero means what? Today. What is this? Don't sit idle in the class. Okay? Uh, three means what? At the end of? I asked you a question. Or some person, I am asking you, you are a financial advisor for me. I am asking you a question. I asked you, I want hmm, one lakh today wa, after three years. Ha. My expected return is, I want a return of how much? 10%. Every year, how much interest I want? Ah, now tell me now, please. I want how much after three years? See the screen, participate. I want how much after three years? One lakh. One lakh. I want today, na? after three years. After three years. I need to deposit to today one lakh, ha? lesser than one lakh. Ha? Common sense. Lesser than one lakh. Everyone? Lesser than one lakh. I should deposit one lakh, ha? lesser than one lakh. Ha? Lesser than one lakh. Why not one lakh? If you deposit 1 lakh at 10%, after interest it will become 1 lakh, more than 1 lakh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This common sense everyone have together? Uh, see the screen now. I want how much after 3 years? How much is my return? How much I want to invest today such that my investment at 10% will give me 1 lakh after 3 years? It is a question type number 1. Listening everyone. I don't believe you. Answer to my question. How much I want? Lakh. Today, na, after three years. Ha? After three years. Today, I want to invest one lakh. Ha? Less than one lakh. Ha? Yeah. Every year for three years, how much interest will come? Yeah. Total will become how much? Lakh. Therefore, I need to invest one lakh. Ha? Less than one lakh. Ha? Yeah. How much is this? This is called as present value of future money. Everyone understood the logic clearly or not? This is how so many people will ask a question. Sir, really people will ask. Shall I give you one example? LIC. LIC. 30 years after, you will receive 2 crore. Means today how much should be the premium? Decided using this model only by insurance companies. Are you understanding the point or not? Yes, sir. Next. Second question I will ask. Answer this. Meaning. Zero illa. What is this, sir, today? Very good. 
टूडे आई विल इन्वेस्ट हाउ मच एंड हाउ मच परसेंट आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स हाउ मच इट शुड बिकम दिस इज कॉल्ड एज फ्यूचर वैल्यू ऑफ प्रेजेंट मनी एवरी वन अंडर शुड द कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियरली सो टेल मी टी वी एम वी मीन वॉट टू टाइप्स ऑफ वैल्यू प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फ्यूचर वैल्यू एवरी वन रिपीट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू फ्यूचर वैल्यू मीनिंग ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंट वैल्यू मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फ्यूचर वैल्यू एनालिसिस डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी आफ्टर ए ब्रेक क्लियर एवरी वन इन द क्लास फर्स्ट पॉइंट एवरी वन टेल मी अंडरस्टूड ऑल द लॉजिक्स अप टू हियर क्लियर लिया टेक ए ब्रेक एंड कम विल स्टार्ट विद द रिमाइनिंग एनालिसिस ओके so 415 we will meet again 415 we'll meet again by 415 so see here now we are going to analyze more deep into the concept of time value of money and understanding various concepts inside this area called as time value of money so listen from now it will take a different turn together <coughs> please listen carefully when i say value there are two types of values one is a present value another one is future value don't write anything in the notes whatever i discussed till now is already kept in the form of question answers format in the notes you will write down this is only rough understanding whenever i say value value will have two types of angles one is a present value and another one happens to be future value so see here thank you thank you Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. So see here value can be of two types either present value or future value It can be of two types but the question that should arise in our subject called as financial management why we need to value what we need to value correct sir everyone first settle down never i should come on time <laughs> sir listen value represents are this is a fifth time i said value means present value future value something i am telling someone is interrupting <laughs> bro over ah huh? oh, thank you very much <laughs> listen value can be of two types present value future value the question is in financial management what value we need is a query what value which value so the point is value of an asset value of asset. asset from here the word asset will have a different meaning i'm not talking about fixed assets etc anything can be there inside what is a value of the asset please listen carefully this one will get repeated hundreds of times in our syllabus inter and final please repeat this like a ram mantra every single day so whoever you believe you will repeat certain things you repeat this so many times as possible till you reach the standards of financial management value of any asset is present value of future cash flows discounted at required rate sir i didn't understand never no one will understand in one go 
first please read the statement as it is one second very bad starting start value of an asset is present value of future cash flows discounted at a required rate is called as what value of asset question analyzes why should i value sir you said value we will value but why question should arise in the entire financial management you should see everything from the investor angle i will purchase a share it becomes what to me i repeat you purchased share in a company listen you purchased share in a company it is a investment a liability asset a liability you when you are investing on a particular share of a company you want to know whether the market price is correct price or it is over price or under price you want to know that means now you want to value what share share for you is a therefore value of asset you have to value company want to purchase a plant and machinery want to purchase available in the market at 10 lakhs really is it worth 10 lakhs to me maybe may not be to understand capital budgeting game full chapter capital budget lo only one point valuing the assets 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 that's all which assets sir fixed assets which asset fixed everyone fixed assets. so fixed assets valuation will be done under which chapter capital budgeting clear everyone so now the question arises everyone answer value of asset is the i repeat present value of future present value of future cash flow as i asked you one question one year after i will receive or three years after i will receive 1 lakh three years after i will receive 1 lakh okay 10% rate i invested today how much i should invest i ask you a question or not that is called as what present value of future cash flows clear everyone logics everything i will tell you read this one more time value of any asset is some people are not reading i don't know why don't make me to point out to you please read properly start value of any asset is present value of future cash flows discounted at required rate question will arise sir i understood value of asset meaning i understood what do you mean by present value though i don't know how to calculate you know the meaning i know what do you mean by future value cash flows required rate i didn't understand sir discounting also i didn't understand sir what is it question will arise yes or no listen present future present future bringing future to present taking present to future bringing future to present repeat the statement bringing or bring taking bringing the future to present is called as discounting is called as is called as taking present to future is called as compounding is called as a compounding repeat first one not discounting what is the full sentence bringing the future to present is called as discounting taking the present to future 99% of your syllabus will be dependent on this clear everyone clear everyone i will ask you one question answer this company want to purchase a plant and machinery you will buy the plant and machinery today 
when you buy the machine today cash flow will come from that asset to today na in future sir i will take this building on rent income will start coming in the past today na or in future everyone understood the point clearly now please listen carefully i took this building on lease and i will give it for a sub lease this building belongs to me i gave it to ks academy say for example every year they will pay me some rent or not now you should only answer use some common sense tell me this building belongs to me i gave as a rent to ks academy every year they will pay me rent or not say they will pay me 50 lakh rent every year now tell me first 50 lakh i will get today na after one year answer next 50 lakh after two years next 50 lakh after three years now tell me today's value tomorrow's value same or different that means the 50 lakhs what i receive after one year 50 lakhs what i receive at the end of second year 50 lakhs i receive at the end of third year will have a same value today na different value, different value. everyone different value. i will ask in different way i will give you 50 lakhs today i will give you 50 lakhs after one year which will will you prefer today. i will give you 50 lakhs after one year i will give you 50 lakhs after two years which one you prefer ah uh, that means as the time passing by uncertainty will increase or decrease risky or less risky therefore this concept of bringing the future value to present is called as discounting this can be understood in this way tell me i have to purchase this building to get a rent on this building purchase is made today na in future today. answer today. i will give you an example i said i have one dollar one pound one euro one rupee in my pocket example how much do i have i ask you a question you will tell you have four currencies eh? You will tell you have one dollar pound euro rupee. Eh? Convert everything into one common time, one common uh, currency. Listening or not? Yes, sir. One dollar equal to eighty rupees. One pound equal to hundred rupees. One euro equal to ninety rupees. Approximation, everything. One rupee will be one rupee only. Now, you should tell me. Can I add all these? Yes, sir. Can I add all these? Yes, sir. Can I add all these? No. no, you cannot. Can I add these? Yes, sir. Now, can I tell I have 180 plus 90, 270, 271. Can I tell I have foreign currencies which are worth 271 rupees? Can I tell like that or not? Yes, sir. Now, use common sense. Can I add these? No. Can I add these? Because I converted everything into same concept. You are buying this building today, na? In future, today. today. But cash flows will come future. to decide to whether to buy this building or not. You are putting outflow today, na? In future, listen again. You have to buy the building. Then you will get rent. I didn't buy. Can I get rent? When I get rent? If you buy the building, you will get rent. Means buying is made today na in future. Today. today if you buy, future rent will come. Yes, Clear. Yes, so investment is put today na after one year. Today. today. But rent will start coming from? Yes, Again I am repeating. Investment is made? Today. Income will start coming from? Yes, one year after it will come. Say for example like that. Clear everyone. Yes, one year after I will get the rent. Now answer. Inflows will come. Today, na, in future. future. Outflow will be made? Today. To take a decision, all inflows should be brought into present scenario. That's why discounting concept came. Are you understanding the point or not? Yeah. 
how you cannot add dollar euro pound and rupee you can't add 50 lakhs received after one year 50 lakhs received after two years you cannot add because all those are belonging to the same time frame a different time frame yeah. now did you understand or not now answer this query year cash flow what do you mean by this some people are not listening everyone see the screen end of 1 lakh year eh? see the question first year ending how much i will get second year ending how much i will get third year ending how much i will get tell me these all are cash inflows cash inflows rental inflows you understand like that okay i took the asset for 3 years lease and i gave you to the sub lease clear i took it for a lease of 2,50,000. I took, I paid a lease rental of how much? It will be held by me for how many years? Three years. I took this building for how many years lease? Three years. Three years. How much lease rent I paid immediately? Inflow na, outflow na? Outflow. I expect how much rent to come after one year? One year. After two years? after 3 years now tell me how much is the total inflow i am going to get from this particular building 1 lakh plus 2 lakh 3 lakh 3 lakh plus 1 lakh 50 4 lakh 50000 like this you should not think this is not the way you should do tell me one second this is like dollar 1 this is like pound 1 this is like euro 1 can you add a cannot add? Yeah. Answer? Yeah. Now I am, I am having one important question. Can be added a? Cannot be added a? Yeah. All of these three belongs to the same time frame. Or different time frames are. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to bring them to a common time frame. There can be two common time frames. Either take all into future or bring everything into present. Take all these two. Or bring everything to? Present. This is present or future. future? This is not today. One doesn't mean today. One means what? After one year. Present means I need to bring back. Huh? I need to take forward. Bring back. Answer. Bring back. You need to bring back it. Clear or not everyone? Yes, uh, two years means I need to bring back once. Huh? I need to bring back two times. Huh? First time if you bring, it becomes what? One. Again you bring, it becomes zero. Do you understand? When this is received? Huh? Uh, so my question. Anyone can answer this question? All also can answer. Listen to the query properly. How much I am paying today? Outflow today. Because of putting that outflow, first year I am expected to get, second year, third year, all these three are today na, in future. But outflow is kept, therefore you can't compare today's outflow with future inflow. Everything you need to bring into today's term. Future to today, we call it discounting, compounding. That's the concept of discounting. Everyone understood the concept clearly or not? So the concept of discounting means bringing the future to present. Listening everyone. Taking the future, sorry, taking the present to future is called as what? Now I will ask you one question, answer. Can I do compounding for the same question? Instead of taking everything from future to present, can I take everything present to future? Answer. Wrong because answers may come, logic is wrong. When you are investing guaranteed today, why you are taking that investment to future? You are not investing after three years. When this is coming? Answer? You may tell that, sir, instead of bringing 1 to 0, I can take 1 to 3. 
I will take this to third year. I will take this to third year. This is already in, this is already in third year. I can add all the three. You can add, no problem. If you want to add, you should also take this two lakh fifty thousand to three years after. Two lakh fifty thousand is uh, income, ah, uh, expenditure. expenditure. Everyone in the class. Inflow na, outflow na. Outflow. Today na, in future ah. Today. Today guaranteed you will put in outflow or not? Yes, then why you are taking it to future? By logic, if you want answers will come. Are you understanding? Mathematically, you can put numbers, you will get answers. Don't do in exam. Never he will give marks. Reason is, you are investing today. Therefore, outflow is made today. We want to compare the outflows with inflows. Outflow is made. So, I want all the inflows also in which terms? Today's terms. For that, future will be brought to present. That concept is called as discounting. Up to here, clarity, everyone. Yes, <coughs> For a discounting, we need to do a formula called as present value we need equal to, tell me, future value divided by plus R whole power N. Question arises. Sir, PV understood, sir. FE also understood, sir. But what is this N? Here, what is the life of this rent? Yeah. N is 3. Asset expected life is 10. N will become 10. Life of the asset will become the N. Clear or not everyone? Yes, now the question is R. What is R? Rate of return. That itself is dealt by the first chapter cost of capital. Did you understand the point? Now, I am coming back. Tell me. You should tell, I should write. What is the value of asset? Uh, description. Uh, this question I will ask at least 500-600 times in class. With the patience, please answer. What is the value of an asset? Present value of future cash flows discounted at required rate. Now, I have some questions, sir. Answer this. Do we now understand what is present value? Yes, sir. Do you, everyone understood what is future value? Yes, sir. Do you understand the meaning of discounting? Yes, sir. Previously, you know, PVFE, other SFCF. Now, you also understood? Yes, but what is the last one? Yes, Required rate. This is called as factor. What it is called as? Factor. Sorry, I can tell this way. Factor means PV factor they call. Tell me what it is. PV factor. PV factor. PV factor means present value factor. Okay. L now we are going to analyze that much in detail. First lesson. How the PV factors will come? Generally in the question... 99 times out of every 100 times, he will give the values. Sometimes they may ask a student to value also. Okay? Sir, what is this PV? Present value factor. Also called as a required rate of return. Required rate of return. Before you, we go into this analysis, first honestly you tell me, understood the value of asset? Understood what is present value? No sound. Understood what is present value? Yes, sir. Concept of future value? Yes, sir. Concept of discounting? Yes, sir. Concept of compounding? Yes, sir. Discounting means what? <laughs> Bringing the future to present or taking present to future? <laughs> compounding? <laughs> taking present to future. Very good. Generally, in almost all the chapters, we will do what? Discounting. discounting. What do you mean discounting? Bringing. Bringing the future to present. Clear or not everyone? I will give you another classic simple example you can understand. Why only discounting will come? You bought a share today. Now you will expect cash flows to come in the past. Huh? Cash flows to come on the date of buying huh? in future. Huh? Today you are? 
repeat today you are buying buying what you need to put some amount or not answer if you put this amount you will start getting inflows today na in future therefore you are now in a confusion whether to invest in this asset or not now what you need to do compare price with value compare price with value value means what just know you read value what is the value of asset present i repeat once again please listen this confusion should never come in financial management that's why i'm repeating so many times you are buying a share market lo one price is there that is a market price price is important value important price already decided by market 100 rupees how much whether it is really worth 100 or not is a question now did you understand or not whether it is really worth 100 more than 100 less than 100 that's a decision we are going to take lessening everyone yes, tell me market law what is the price can you change or cannot change yeah. maximum what you can do you can now value the share and you can compare what is the real value 101 but it is available only at 100 buy what is the real value 100 how much is in the market 100 correctly priced value 95 it is available in the market at 100 avoid buying this share clear huh? three situations i said number one 101 sorry 105 second 100 third i repeat once again first compared with next compared with next compared with how i got these three numbers i got through this formula are you understanding or not i valued the asset using different different risk rates simply if a person now i will ask you last question and you start writing the notes fcf means what <laughs> future is guarantee yeah? satana ansatana therefore the cash flows what i am writing here are also satana ansatana it is my expectation it is my expectation i am expecting next year 30 rupees after that 25 rupees like that he is expecting next year 10 after the 35 means value of asset will be same for every person different it differs from what uh -huh. it differs from person to person because of expectation of future cash flows my expectation and others expectation can match or need not match because of how many reasons two reasons reason one future reason two the rate you take reason two is the rate you take what are these only we are going to analyze in the next part of time value of money chapter basic understood yes, sir. basic understood yes, sir. i am going to buy house tell me what is the future cash flow house will give me what is the future cash flow house will give me rent, rent. commercial building rent plant and machinery rent uh, plant and machinery sales plant and machinery gives me sales listening yes, but not up to the mark tell me building employees rent. commercial complex rent. share rent. debentures rent. interest now did you understand the point or not these are all what inflows given by these assets clear everyone in the class understood the logic clearly uh, write down this first one first read after that you write this chapter analyzes three most important elements which decides the asset value what is the first one cash flow second one life third one pv factor also called as a discounting factor also called as a required rate or required return
data writing. First one only up to PV factor or discounting factor or required return up to there. Next uh, below you write down note. Don't write on your own uh, please up to first three branches completed writing below write down note. <coughs> The value of any asset is the value of any asset is the value of any asset is any asset is the present value of the present value of the present value of its future cash flows, the present value of its future cash flows discounted at discounted at required rate of return. Discounted at required rate of return. Discounted at required rate of return. Completed. So, what is the value of an asset? Present value of future cash flows discounted at required rate of return. Okay. Listen. Present value of present value of future cash flows. Now tell me, if I hold a building, what will be my cash flow? Rent. If I hold a share? Dividend. If I hold a debenture? Yes. So that's the next one. Various types of cash flows and their corresponding PV factors. Listen carefully. New concept in itself. Please see the screen once. See here. Don't write first lesson. I am holding which asset? Yeah. Real asset means what? Building like that. Okay. Building, land and building like that. That's why example I have taken, land and. With no stretch of imagination, you can directly answer. What will be the cash flow given by land and building? Rent. Answer. Rent. I hold a building. Rent will be fixed by government. No. Listen again. I hold a building. This building belongs to me. Rent fixed by government, uh, rent fixed by owner. Uh. owner. That means future. Bro, listen, please. Listen again. This building belongs to me. I am the owner of this building, or you are the owner of this building. Tell me how much rent this should building should give will be decided by external factor, will be decided by owner. Uh. owner. That means how much you will get in future. You know, uh, don't know. Uh. Because what you fix is what is paid. Therefore, whenever I call real assets, valuation of real assets is very, 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 very easy. Because real assets, cash flows are absolute. Absolute means guaranteed and fixed. Because the person who is the owner of the asset will decide the cash flows. Therefore, doubtful cash flows are guaranteed. guaranteed. Answer? Guaranteed. Second one. Life. Life, for example, why life is very important? I said you very importantly one word. Very, very important. Time, value of money. Time represents life. Building will have a life or no life? Answer, sir. Everyone, yes, I will construct a building. Life or no life? Yes. How many years life generally? Yes. 10 years. Hey. Minimum building will have 50, 60 years of life. Yes. So you construct a building with a basic quality. It will at least directly without any improvements to be made. 20 years it can run. Maybe 15, 20 years after. Outer structures may be having some beats where you need to put some improvement work. Means once you construct a building, you can maintain that building for minimum 50 to 60 years or not. Yes, 
that means exactly i may not tell 52 years 3 months why 5 days like that i may not tell but approximately we can tell a life of a asset or not tell me now what is the value of asset i told you hundreds of times i will ask this question what is the value of asset present value of future cash flow stop present value of cash flow na future cash flow na that's my question how much future how much future is my question that's n are you understanding the point or not so tell me building life may not be exact but at least almost absolute value can i de determine and tell or not yeah 50 or 55 or 60 or something i can tell sir how can you get it if you ask a civil engineer he will see the quality of cement and brick you use he will tell directly how many years it will work did you understand so through scientific methods we can understand the life of a building or not yes required rate don't ask me what is this w a c c but i will ask you one question answer building you can acquire with whose funds totally your fund totally loan fund combination any person in india whenever he buy the building he will buy in two ways token advance and certain basic money he will give remaining he will take loan listening everyone listening everyone that means tell me my capital to buy the building is raised from own source or loan source or combination answer means 100 rupees is not raised completely by my own listen everyone some people i am seeing them distracting please listen basics are not understand means gone repetition one more time those who are tripped listen now at least okay listen again my point is whenever buildings are there you need to buy a building to get the cash flow or not buying a building can be from two sources of capital source one own source to loan i can use combination yes or no loan and own will not have same rate of return expectation obviously clear everyone uh, now listen carefully whenever you are investing i repeat whenever you are investing in a building company can raise money from equity or from debt or from both who will give the fund equity shareholder can give the fund second one debt holder can give a fund or combination i can take listening equity shareholders will give money free of cost with expectation they are expecting 16% return example debenture holders also will expect on a bank loan bank will ask an interest or not it is asking 10% it is asking 10% now everyone you should only answer me tell me i want to buy company want to buy company want to buy funding will be how many sources number 1 equity owner fund number 2 debt loan fund how much shareholders are expecting how much bank is asking uh, in every 150 rupees equity 50 rupees loan i have taken 1 crore worth building 50 lakhs equity 50 lakhs debt understood or not yes, sir. you should use your common sense and tell now i will write you tell every 100 rupees la every any 100 rupee if you take in every 100 rupee how much equity how much debt 50% equity 50% debt equity shareholders will give free of cost with a cost how much loan i am taking 100% loan now you should answer if i take 100% loan how much is my cost 10% if I take 100% from equity, how much will be my cost? 16%. Now I have taken 100% from equity or data combination. Means 8% here, 5% here, totally how much percent? 13%. 
this is called as weighted average cost of capital understood the point or not yes, capital is taken from how many persons number 1 number 2 you should pay something to equity for the capital taken or not yes, that's called as a cost of equity that's called as a cost of equity next you are taking also loan from a bank or not yes. bank is a equity a debt yes. that's called as a cost of debt everyone repeat cost of debt listen again equity funding has a cost of free of cost cost what it is called as cost of equity from borrowings also you will take money or not what you will call it as cost of debt i will ask you two questions properly answer if you answer i will go to the next step or else repeat no doubt in that tell me in my example what is the cost of equity like me just no answer cost of equity cost of debt i raised completely by debt huh? no. completely by equity huh? no, i used a combination of no. debt and equity therefore my cost is any one cost huh? weighted average cost huh? therefore that's called as a weighted average cost of capital it came to 13% in our example clear or not everyone yes, now use common sense and tell the second one basics you should be ultimately strong see here real asset discussion over very very important our subject is completely on financial asset tell me building is a plant is a share is a financial asset bond is a financial asset now did you understand the point everyone okay now financial assets are two types first one will be financial assets are two types first one will be debt second one will be equity first let us see the debt shall i shall i continue yes, valuing the debt is very very easy because of three reasons do you know what are the three reasons certainty 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 why sir tell me now you are taking a loan from a bank number of years is fixed or not fixed use your common sense in life when you go to a bank and ask i want loan bank said how many years some number some number of years you will tell huh? term fixed or not fixed fixed or not fixed yes. payment of interest every year of a fixed percent is also fixed or not fixed yes. that means in case of debt three things are fixed first one is life life is certain or uncertain yes. answer yes. how much you have to pay the cash flow certain or uncertain yes. 100% certain you have to pay life certain or uncertain yes. bank will ask a percentage of interest or not yes, required return of the banks certain or uncertain certain in case of debt all the three elements which gives the value of asset are certain or uncertain yes. sum up everything tell me what is the value of an asset yes. stop there first one yes. of discounted it i will tell the asset you tell three components building present value of what is the future cash flow ha huh? discounted at what rate required rate of a building will be if you finance by equity cost of equity if you finance by debt cost of debt if you finance by both weighted average cost of capital generally both they will use that's why i kept there clear everyone yes, second one which asset we are considering next yes. debt financial asset in that which asset debt debt is easy or difficult very easy instrument is debt reason 
Tetla three things are certain. Number one? Number one? Cash flow is certain. Because cash flow is dependent on rate of interest. 10% loan, 1 lakh rupee. First year, how much interest? You're not listening, listen again. 1 lakh principal, interest 10%. First year, how much you should pay? Second year. Read again, first year. 1 lakh rupee have taken loan. Okay? 10% rate of interest. First year, how much I will pay? Second year, 10,000. Third year, fixed or not fixed? Answer. Certain answer. Tena. Very good. I have taken how many years loan? Three years. This will be increased? Huh? No. All this will be decreased? Huh? No. Time is fixed or huh? not fixed? Huh? That means here two things are happening. First two, cash flow is 100% certain. Life is 100% certain. Rate of interest is fixed or huh? not fixed? Huh? Fixed. That's why debt. You read this now. What is the first one? Cash flow. Absolute or not absolute? Name of cash flow is interest. Fantastic. Next, life. Because in the deed itself, they will clearly write the term. Okay. Third one. What is this? A required rate is called as a cost of uh, debt. We are reading equity a uh, debt. Uh. When I am reading that, cost will be cost of debt. Sir, what is this cost of debt? All these things. This is all we are going to read in our first chapter. Cost of capital. Name learning it is clear. Cost of debt capital. Cost of equity capital. Cost of both the combined capitals is the cost of capital chapter. Understood or not? In this, you should, you should not have clarity only in one aspect. What is that one aspect? Required rate, required rate, required rate. I only said cost of equity, cost of debt. But real meaning I didn't tell. Reason? In the first chapter we are going to learn all those things. Clear everyone. What is the value of asset? Whatever you value, you will get some value or not? You will compare it with what? You will compare it with what? start at the beginning. You will value or not? Value will come. You will compare this value with what? Prices. Price versus value is FM. Clear? Price versus value is FM. Price already determined, huh? not at huh? Already determined. What is not at? That you need to do. Value for me, value for you will be same or different. Yeah. I charge first year rent of 2 lakh, second year 2 lakh, third year 2 lakh. You charge 3 lakh, 2 lakh, 1 lakh 50. Both of us will have a same value or different value. Yeah. Because what is different? Cash flows are different here. I am expecting 50 years life you are expecting 60 years life. Both will get same value or different value. Fantastic. I raised only by equity. 16% is my cost. Listening. You raised by combination. 13% is your cost. Value for you, value for me will be same or different. That means you should understand one point. Value will change from person to person. But price will not change from person to person. Are you understanding or not? Yes, sir. I am starting from Vishmambalam here, Aryagoda Road. I want to go to T Nagar. I stopped an auto. In my mind, I will have one price. I should not pay more than 100 rupees. Clear? I stopped an auto. Auto stop. I asked him, I want to go to T Nagar. How much? He, in my mind, how much is there? I fixed it for 100. That's the value for me. From T Nagar to, sorry, from uh, Aragoda Road to T Nagar, it should not be more than 100. I stopped him. I asked how much. He said, 70. First I will jump. Because I am expecting to pay how much. But he is asking me to pay only how much? 
jump into auto shut your mouth language irrelevant let him take to any place he want first jump second he said 150 namaste please leave i will see another auto why you are not just going into the auto in the second case you are you are giving the value of distance from uh, aregoda road to tnagar only 100 when the pricing is really done at 150 you are not willing to buy clear or not everyone mind la 100 you stopped he came he is a mind reader he stopped he said how much i asked he said 100 immediately i went now listen carefully here your value is changing uh, price is changing uh, value clear some other person this fellow uh, our millionaire is there he thought that i can buy minimum 200 minimum 200 from aragoda road to tnagar 200 i can throw he thought like that he stopped auto okay he asked how much he said 70 jump second he asked how much 150 jump third how much he asked 300 he said now he will also tell that i am fixed only for 200 i will not pay 300 now the price and value comparison is changing again are you understanding the point or not so always same logic applies also on financial assets that's a financial management as a subject means always you will do but in case of auto that much calculation not required generally we will have one uh, intention in mind 100 120 130 like that but that 100 120 130 should have a scientific proof in case of fm how you got that 120 how you got that 100 how you got that 30 how you got that 40 we should tell with workings therefore this became complicated did you first understand what i said yes, everyone in the class yes, one time tell our signature statement value of any asset is present value of future cash loss discounted at required rate of return every person will have same price or different price same price same value or different value as a finance manager i am going to value assets or price the assets value of an asset is determined by three factors number one life number two cash flow number three discounting factor one life number two number three last one is discounting factor is also called as a cost of capital that's the first chapter we are going to start with understood the entire logic clearly uh, this is the point sir please write down this uh, sorry i forgot to tell about equity i'm very sorry two minutes complete it and then write down please see there equity the most complicated asset in this world equity reasons i will tell you reasons i will tell you reasons i will tell you <laughs> now tell me house has approximated life or not yes, babu chitti house has an approximate life or not yes, debt has a guaranteed life or not yes, equity means equity share yes or no yes, what are the features of company under companies act first one artificial legal person yes or no yes, sir. second one perpetual succession yes or no yes, sir. means company will continue forever means company continue means a share will also continue yes, so life of a share is perpetual means no na unknown na. No. that's the first problem life a unknown what unknown don't copy my statements. You tell directly the word. Uh, what is uncertain? Life is uncertain. First point. For what? Share. Because share will continue till winding up of company. When company will wound up, we don't know. That means life is not known. First point. Second. Listen. What is the cash loan share? Answer. 
డివిడెండ్ ఈస్ ఏ గ్యారెంటీడ్ అమౌంట్ ఆప్షనల్ మే కమ్ రేట్ ఆల్సో మే బీ ఫాలోడ్ మే నాట్ బి ఫాలో లాస్ట్ ఇయర్ టూ రూపీస్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ సిక్స్ బంపర్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇయర్ జీరో ఎనీథింగ్ కెన్ హ్యాపెన్ గ్యారంటీడా అన్గ్యారంటీడా సో రిస్కీయా నాట్ రిస్కీయా వెరీ గుడ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ వెన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈస్ రిస్కీ రిటర్న్ విల్ బీ మోర్ హైయా లెస్ మోర్ రిస్క్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ద షేర్ హోల్డర్స్ విల్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ లెస్సర్ రిటర్న్ మోర్ రిటర్న్ that's called as a ke calculation what is calculation ke will be seen in your first chapter cost of capital are you understanding or not everyone yes, with these many uncertainties you value in ca inter they have given only one formula ca final one chapter a is there for valuing ke only name of the chapter is a portfolio theories and asset pricing models anna please please everyone repeat what is that and asset pricing models so there is a separate chapter called as portfolio theories and asset pricing models other name is portfolio management they can call in two ways this is the chapter maybe you can see or not i don't know i will re- here you can see 107 pages notes one single chapter you may not see here down below it is there 107 pages only one single chapter what is the chapter portfolio there is sorry for a proof sake i will show you one point this much we have done lastly we calculated ke this is a one of the finest chapters just it will come for 20 marks in exam ca final you should ask ca final students about this chapter you tell the name of this chapter automatically first right hand will move uh. next left hand uh. so how many concepts are hell a lot many formulae so many concepts will be there only to value one thing what is that yeah. understanding equity share is like understanding god never understandable <laughs> it will be seeming to be understandable but not understandable so it is the most confusing concept because share can be predicted or cannot be or so when something you can't predict it will be very very difficult share valuation becomes difficult because three factors affecting the asset being the cash flow being the life being the required rate all are complicated that complication of 1% you are going to see in this chapter which chapter cost of capital in the concept called as ke ke d means cost of debt ke e means cost of equity ke o means overall cost ke o means hope everyone understood the second now we completed second part of basics understood or not everyone sir writing part all these you can do understood or not everyone yes, sir. we are comparing dash with the dash price, price with value. value comes from mrp value will come from future cash flow sir future you are buying asset today na in future wrong start from beginning if i listen wrong answer i will repeat how dare you can give wrong answers i will give i will again repeat listen that means you are not listening properly start again what is the comparison we will make versus price versus price is the thing which you need to pay today na in future today if you buy you will get cash flows in future clear everyone today is a outflow na inflow na future la ah now can i compare future inflows with the present outflow therefore we should bring all the future inflows into present value to bring the future to present i require something or not ah that time machine is what fantastic that's the meaning of this concept everyone understood the concept clearly or not ah. so for that comparison you are bringing everything okay write down this uh, one second i will make it full screen right now first one is it visible to the last benches also everyone yes, uh-huh. thank you
have you completed land and building yeah. equity yeah. sir ytm means yield to maturity it will come in the first chapter right we can understand as of now copy down completed completed so question number 1 why this chapter question number 2 various types of cash flows and corresponding pv factors two things are over next see here concept of time value of money in a nutshell the concept where please same concept what we learned in a different way of presentation the concept where money derives its value and get influenced by lapse of time is called as time value of money listening there are two types of time value of money concepts first one discounting second one compounding discounting is a concept of bringing future cash flows to present next uh, compounding is a concept of taking present cash flows to future clear see the diagram clearly future is brought to called as discounting in the same way present is taken to future is called as what compounding already we have learned this concept or not yeah summarize everything present to future present to future future to present which is more suitable method for entire sfm why investment we will put today from that we are expecting the cash flows in future therefore when you put expenditure today you should compare inflows also in today's terms so therefore obviously we will make discount except for one chapter one capital budgeting la one concept will come called as npv irr conflict at that time future value will come okay what is that npv irr conflict okay variety concept is there there you will understand second place ca final there is a chapter a called as futures name a clear you should not bring future to present you should take present to future there is a chapter called as a futures derivative futures okay options and futures or futures and options the futures there 99 cases what we use discounting means bringing bringing not taking present to future everyone understood the logic clearly that's also that's a main point okay next before even going into that first write down concept of time value of money in a nutshell and two types of impact write on this this is already discussed nothing new 
okay please write down the notes clearly question number 3 फर्स्ट लाइन ऑल्सो इंडियन राइट डोंट राइट क्वेश्चन फोर राइट अप टू क्वेश्चन थ्री ओनली इट इज देयर ना डोंट कॉपी दैट बिकॉज बिलो दिस यू नीड टू राइट वन न्यूमेरिकल एलेस्ट्रेशन completed no. so discounting is a concept of bringing future to present compounding is a concept of taking present to future one small pictorial presentation also let us see numerical illustration to make you more understand about this concept see the screen once this one see the screen clearly please see that year ah uh, what is the year zero means today today is called as year zero today please today i am putting some outflow i need to see whether this outflow is compensated with the inflows or not uh, sir no anyone sir anyone will buy the asset only to check whether at least the inflows what i get should at least equal to outflows sir i will purchase for 1 lakh i will get income of 20000 will i buy no. means my inflows should be at least matching what my outflows yes, 
clear or not my inflow should at least match outflows so therefore i am first putting some outflow in the zero year so i am expecting to get how much inflow at the end of first year i am expected to get how much inflow at the end of first year how much at the end of second year how much at the end of third year can i add these three why you cannot add all the three belongs to three different time frames first you need to bring all inflows into current time frame present time frame therefore we need to bring uh, third year to zero first uh, third year to zero uh, second year to zero uh, first year to zero now you should only answer me we are going to discount a compound discount, discount a compound discount. discounting so when you are discounting pv equal to fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n common sense you use how much is this cash flow received today na after one year after two years after three years i have to bring this to two a one a zero a means how many times i need to discount three times answer three times now tell me sir fv how much 2 lakh divided by uh, 1 plus r whole power 3 everyone tell me this how to write 1 lakh 50 thousand divided by 1 plus r whole square okay whole power 2 if you make you are going to discount for how many times two times how to write this? 1 lakh uh, divided by 1 plus r whole power 1. Even if you don't write, no problem. You will get one time discounting value. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. Now we are bringing future to present. Huh? Present to future. Huh? future to present. This is? That's why. See this? The concept of bringing all the future cash flows to present is called discounting or there is another way. Tell me. This is received at the end of I will take it to third year. Future. This is received at the end of take it to third year. This is already in third year. You need not again take. Can I add all the three or not? Directly can I add all the three? No. Can I bring everything to future and add? Yes. But mostly we will recommend only first model because outflow is actual. Clear everyone in the class? So this is the idea behind the pictorial presentation of discounting and compounding. Please copy the notes. One second, this is all notes for what? This whatever you are writing now today notes, it is on what? Today you have written notes now from the beginning you are writing some notes. This notes is regarding what chapter, what concept? Ah, this is the basics to basics to financial management. Not inter final. This is the basic first I will teach them. Then only we will go into the first chapter. That if you remember foundation la components of law. Ah, that I will teach in intros again. That does not mean that it is applicable for foundation. Likewise, this is an introduction to financial management, not inter or final. Completed writing. Write down this pictorial presentation of discounting and compounding.
so completed writing so concept of bringing the past to future is compounding and future to present is called as discounting these are the various concepts that we learnt up to here are you all comfortable and understanding in writing yeah. listen next now keep the heading practical examples to understand time value of money concept that is not properly visible there you write down practical examples to understand time value of money concept practical examples to understand time value of money concept we are going to do at least 7 to 8 illustrations not today it takes time you have to understand every number not just formulas and answers so for that it takes some time therefore first what you have to do please value can be of two types as i said present value future value if you want to bring future value to present the formula is f e into 1 by 1 plus r whole power n that is also written as f e divided by 1 plus r whole power n so first write down the formula as it is logic and other things we will see in the next class it takes time minimum 45 minutes time will be taken to explain every formula so for today first day session no problem you just copy down the formula both sides present value and future value value can be of two types present value future value Example, don't write. Write only up to here. Two formulae. ROI means return on investment or rate of interest. You can call in any way. N represents years or terms. Or you can also write time. First, tell me everyone completed writing? Yes, sir. Everyone completed writing? Yes, sir. The first question that you should get. Listen. Practical illustrations on this numericals, meaning, understanding, including the formulas, interpretation, all those things we will do in the next class. But don't pack the bags. I am not yet done. Listen. I said that we are going to do all those in the next class. That's all. I'm not telling I am going to complete now. Please listen. I have one small question here. Whenever you are going to calculate present value, you are dividing. FV uh, into a FV divided by a. Answer. 
in foundation also you might have done the same uh, pv equal to fv by 1 plus r fv equal to pv into 1 plus r why we are doing like that why we are dividing is a question now see great great answers will come why did you understand my question everyone tell me what is my question why we divide for discounting huh why we multiply for compounding is a question so any guess ah sir let's not waste time i will only tell you i will give you two statements from your childhood mathematics from there you can understand easily when you listen listen one second one second when i am taking present to future we call it as discounting a compounding a ah huh? means value should increase or decrease a discount itself means you have to reduce the value or increase the value everyone reduce the value kada ah now mathematics there is a statement analogy we call do you know what is that two types of analogies are there number one division is continuous subtraction division is continuous subtraction okay multiplication is continuous addition what is it addition i am not asking what i said at the last empty statement i am asking everyone repeat division is continuous subtraction uh and multiplication is continuous addition there is no concept of divisions and multiplications in the mathematics additions and subtractions in a different form sir i will give you an example 15 by 3 ha huh? 15 by 3 means what you can reduce 5 3 times from 15 to give a remainder zero 15 by 3 15 main number divided by Three. equal to Five. means what i can reduce i can reduce 5 from 15 many times sir three times before it becomes zero clear everyone that mean 15 minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 equal to zero. that means 15 by 3 can also be understood as 15 minus 15 minus 5 5 so the answer what you get in the division if you subtract it for that number of period it will render zero value or not yes sir answer yes sir so to subtract something instead of using subtraction i can also use which method answer Division. discounting means value should reduce or increase reduce. so it should give a effect of subtraction or multiplication yeah. therefore what i have to use Division. that's why they will use are you understanding the point or not everyone in the class that's why they divide always it's a continuous subtraction i need to reduce its value so therefore formula uses a division obviously opposite is the case of multiplication because i need to add i need to add clear everyone 5 into 3 5 into 3 means i can add 5 three times to reach 15 multiplication so multiplication can also be understood as addition compounding means what i will get interest add again interest add again interest add so additions can also be understood as that's all everyone understood the point or not you may ask a question then directly they might have used subtraction only kada did you understand or not yes sir instead of using this way sir what you said is division can also be understood as continuous subtraction multiplication can also be understood as continuous addition 
then they would have used that only directly that is a difficult because if the asset value is 70 years i need to make 70 subtractions if the asset value is 100 years i need to make 100 addition rather than making 100 additions i will multiply by power n that's why multiplications and divisions came everyone understood the concept clearly or not that's how they derived the formula this is the first day analysis on the formulas and uh, other concepts everyone understood whatever we discussed or not yes, sir. tomorrow session we'll see the new concepts okay thank you very much thank you so very good afternoon everyone so uh, fm classes will be at a standard above something so therefore let us make it on a more professional front rather than just like uh, normal classes so therefore uh, once the video output comes out na then you can understand very good how impactive it will be so before we start yesterday's session we started with the concept called as a time value of money so in the concept of time value of money we have completed understanding what do you mean by asset so in the entire fm we will do only one thing valuation so valuation of what asset asset valuation is the idea behind this chapter clear everyone okay listen carefully from today onwards people will come on stage they will answer okay and they will give the answers for questions get ready everyone am i clear everyone get ready formula when i tell i don't want your formula answer i want derivation interpretation how the formula came so get ready everyone okay at least uh, everyone in the class minimum minimum at least four five times you will come on stage by the time classes are completed okay no one need to feel bad why you are not calling me everyone will get your turn okay sir okay let us start with the basic concept of time value of money so what we understood is time value of money represents the value which the money will get because of time is called as time value of money i said in the yesterday session also if i have a 500 rupee and another 500 rupee note both will have a same value today but 500 rupees received after one year 500 rupees received today which anyone will prefer today's 500 will be preferred more so today's 500 will have more value than future 500 clear today's 500 will have more value than futuristic 500 so futuristic 500 will have lesser value today than today's 500 future value if you are bringing to present we call it as discounting there are two techniques in time value of money one is called as discounting second one is called as compounding compounding is a situation where we will take present cash flows to future discounting is a concept of bringing out future to present these are the two things that we learned clear and we try to understand that there are various kinds of assets real assets and financial assets real assets will be totally land and building plant and machinery those type if it is a real asset like land and building every asset will have three kinds of phases phase number one will be the life phase number two will be the cash flow case number three will be i repeat once again phase one life phase two phase three uh, now the question arises phase one phase two phase three required return all these things we have understood now now the question arises phase one will be the concept of life life of a land and building so listen listen so whenever there is an asset asset will have a life real estates like real assets like land and building plant and machinery all these things will also have its life but life is almost we can calculate to an accuracy with the scientific techniques available okay so land and building you can estimate a life of 50 years or 60 years or 65 years 45 years like that depending on the quality of construction engineer will decide 
second type will be there financial assets in this again two types of instruments are there number one equity number two debt in this the most easiest one is debt because everything is certain almost certain all if not certainty number one life is certain because at the time of issue of debentures we will clearly tell how many years debenture we are issuing five years or four years or ten years we will clearly explain in the issue document itself clear everyone yes, sir. but when it comes to uh, equity it's not like that sir first let us complete for the debt debt should have three things to value that to value any asset three things are required number one Price. number one Price. number two number three Again, once again, number one, Price. number two, Price. number three. Price. These are the three things which are very much required to value any asset. First one, life. Life of a debenture, you need not tell at the time of issue of debenture, company only will tell it. Clear? Second one, cash flow. Cash flow also, you need not do any estimate. At the time of issue of debenture, interest rate will be decided by company itself. 10 means 10% 10 throughout 5 years. 5 means 5% throughout the year. 15% means 15% throughout the life. So, certainty is there. Life is certain. Life is certain. Cash flow is certain. What is the third one? Required rate. That is almost nearing approximate we can calculate using a model called as a YTM. Also called as a KD. That's the first chapter we are going to do. In a debenture, what are the two things which are absolutely certain? One life, second cash flow. To value asset, what are the three things? Life, cash flow, required rate. In this, what two are certain? So, what is only uncertain? For that only chapter came. Are you understanding or reminding? Anyway, you need not value. What is required to be valued? Required rate. For that only first chapter. Clear everyone? Okay, done. Next, after that, equity, the dangerous instrument in the list. Okay. Why I call it a dangerous instrument means it is not that easy to value the equity. Very difficult because three things are uncertain. Number one, life is uncertain. Life of a company will be? Life of a company will be? When life of a company is perpetual, till the life of company, what will be there? Share. That means life of a share is also perpetual. So when the life of a share is perpetual, when life of a company is perpetual, you don't know where it ends exactly. To calculate 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 60 years, life can be calculated or cannot be. Uh. Then it becomes a first thing. Life itself has become difficult, uncertain. Number two, to value any asset, what is the second ingredient required? Everyone. Most uncertain. I will pay dividend. I may not pay dividend. Section number 123, subsection 1, class A and B of Companies Act makes dividend payment optional on the board of directors of a company. Clear? 123, subsection 1, class A and class B. Companies Act clearly said that payment of dividend is at absolute discretion of board of directors. That means board of directors may either choose to pay, may choose not to pay also. They can do any of the things. They may pay, they may not pay, anything can happen. That means... Your estimation of dividend is not dependent on your estimate actually. It is dependent on the discretion of a third party called as a board of directors. Are you understanding or not? Yes, Who should propose dividend? Who will propose dividend? Board of, board of directors will propose the dividend. Who will declare the dividend? Shareholders at a general meeting under section number 102, subsection number 1, class number A. They will declare the dividend at an annual general meeting. Who? Shareholder. There is a procedure for payment of dividend under Companies Act. In that section number 102, if you find time, you can read after the class. It will be called as an explanatory statement and ordinary and special business. There, section number 102, subsection number 2, class number A, subclass number 1, 2, 3, 4. In that subclass 2, we will tell about dividend declaration. Dividend will be proposed by directors, but will be paid by shareholders. Now answer my question. Shareholders can't declare unless the board propose the dividend. Listening. Shareholders can't declare the dividend unless board proposes a dividend. That means 
two things are there here. I have to estimate the cash flows of a equity share. I have to estimate cash flows of a equity share. If you have to estimate the cash flow of a equity share, what is the cash flow each equity share will give you? Uh, don't sit silent. Start from the beginning. To value any asset, what are the three things required? Life. Uh, cash flow required rate. Right? What is the life of equity share? Perpetual. Over. Done. Uncertainty. Second one. We are now discussing about that. Come back. Some people already tripped their mind. Went to somewhere. Come back. So, second one. Cash flow. Cash flow that uh, equity share gives is? Dividend. Dividend is guaranteed amount. Na? May or may not. If board propose, shareholders declare, then dividend will come. That means my declaration is dependent not on me. My declaration is dependent on two persons. Number one, board should propose. Like me, all other shareholders also think and they should declare. If both the conditions are satisfied, then I will get the dividend. So estimation is easy and difficult. Huh? That's why in stock market is never predictable. No one can predict how the stock market will move on every day. Because it depends on every one person's percept. It's a subjective uh, judgment of every person. For example, I presume, sir, last year SBI has declared dividend of 5 rupees 40 paisa. If any person comes to me and asks, Kaushik, how much you are expecting next year? Maybe I tell, next year I am expecting 7 rupees. It may be 7, may not be 7. Are you understanding or not? Yes, Today's prices you are seeing on the stock market are on the basis of estimates they made for future. Clear? What is the value of asset? Uh, one second. Some people already forgot. Start. What is the value of an asset? Present value of future cash flows discount at a required rate of return. Today if there is any price in the market it is a present value. Present value of Future is an estimation, a guarantee. That means on the basis of estimates of public, today's price is getting traded like that. Some estimates are made. Everyone has his own estimate. For example, I have an estimation of fall in price in future. Estimation of fall in price in future. I, I expect that prices will fall today na in future. Then I will want to stop buying today and I will start buying in the future. Number one, I feel that prices will raise in future. What I will do? I will buy and I will sell in the future. 200 persons are there in class. Say example, 150 students are having a percept that share prices will increase in future. What you will do today? What you will do in future? Answer. 50 students are having a percept that share prices will fall in future. Listening or not? Yes, what they will do? Yes, they will, what they will do? They will sell today. If they have shares already, they will sell. Now answer my question clearly. How many sells came? How many buys came? Who is dominating the market? On the day that green mark will come. That means the red mark is there. Green mark is also there. Green is more dominating. The candlesticks will be at the top green side. So, you can see that visibly. You can see every single day during the trading sessions are going on. It is easy. How many buy orders came? How many sell orders are coming? You can understand the market sentiment. That means how they are feeling about the share on a particular single day. Most of the people are doing that means we will also go in the same way or not. Ah, that's how these uh, charts will help us. That means it, it will make you to understand the market sentiment. Clear? That means if you understand what I said, I am buying today to sell in or I am selling today to buy in future. That means always I am concerned about today. Na, I take all today's actions for today na, for future. Na. That's all. That's why we tell always the future cash flows are more important in FM. Are you understanding or not? We are not concerned about present. Present is only to value the asset to today. But that depends on the future cash flows that it is going to give. Everyone understood the point clearly or not? So what is the value of asset? 
फ्यूचर कैश लोस डिस्काउंटेड एट रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न डन आफ्टर दैट हाँ ओके टू वैल्यू एनी असेट लाइफ कैश लो रिक्वायर्ड रेट लाइफ अनसर्टेन कैश लो मोस्ट अनसर्टेन एंड थर्ड वन थर्ड वन दैट इज़ द रियल हेल्ल at least to some extent we on the past trend we can estimate how much cash flow a company will give yeah. if you see tcs na tcs is one of such companies which will pay almost consistent dividends every year they will maintain the range of dividend one or two rupees here and there okay so they will consistently pay some amount of dividend every single year problem is life anyway perpetual second one Second one, most uncertain. Third one is most, most, most uncertain. Reasons are clear. Required rate, how much you want, how much return you are expecting. Remember forever in FM or in SFM. Whenever I say return, whenever I say return is always expressed in percentage terms, not in amount terms. Expressed in. Not in. Use your common sense and tell, if any. He got hundred rupees profit. Ye, ye got hundred rupee profit. Listening. Yes, sir. Okay, he got hundred rupee profit. Means return, return in rupee, hundred rupees. B got fifty rupees. Ye, hundred. B fifty. Ye is better. B is better. Wrong. A invested 500, B invested 100. Adi. Now, if you express in percentage terms, 500 ke 100 will be 20 percent, 100 ke 50 will be 50 percent. Who is making bumper profit? Ye na bi na. That's all. That's the idea behind. So return should be expressed in rupees or percentage sa. Yes, always percentage. Stock market never recognizes rupees. Rupee will always manipulate. But percentages do not clear everyone. One point. Repeat. Return means what? Percentage. Another time. Return means what? Percentage. Another time. Return means what? Percentage. Yes. Return means a percentage return, not a rupee return. Clear everyone. So that's the point number two. Uh, so that percentage, how much return I should do? I should ask from a particular share. Itself is learnt in CA final in one of the most important subject. How capital budgeting is important for uh, FM? Like that in CA final there is one chapter called as portfolio theories and asset pricing models. So that is that much important. That's a capital budgeting of CA final. So that very 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 important chapter. There we will learn the strategies and techniques of valuing RR. You will be convinced at that time. Like this, markets are getting traded, so you will then understand how the share prices are moving up and down on every single day. This is how the calculations are being made. Everything you can understand when you come to final. A chapter is there called as a portfolio theories and asset pricing models. And there you will see into that. Sir, anyway, everyone understood the logic clearly, yeah? Yes, sir. So, sir, in CA inter. RR of the equity means required rate of equity. We won't calculate. Ah, you will. They have given one small formula. RF plus beta into RM minus RF. One small formula was given. But what I will do in the class is I will tell you how that formula came. It takes around one minute of hour to explain the derivation to that formula. First chapter alone I will tell that. Okay. So you will then understand. Summary is this much. You can understand how the main concept in final will be. So the summary that R M plus R F plus R B time to R M minus R F. What is the meaning of that particular formula? How it is derived? What is the logic behind? Those we will understand in C A inter also. I will tell, but not so deep like C A final. Just a summary I will tell you. Rather than institute na worst presentation one page la completed. They have given that capital asset pricing model. Okay, K equal to R F plus B times R minus R F formula. Two questions over. We won't do like that. We will understand the intention behind them, the logic, science behind the formula. Everything we will understand. For that, I am the guarantee. 
so every concept we will learn in a scientific way as what the models really want to convey sir up to here everyone comfortable in understanding the points sir yes sir this is the revision of the previous class every day we will do like this previous days or the cumulative revision of all the formula everything we will do every single day so target on understanding the concepts clearly up to what we discussed in yesterday's class are you all comfortable yes sir next concept please open your notes everyone had your notes yes, yesterday okay no problem at least today everyone had your notes with you i think you have written up to here right yesterday okay just a minute okay see here example please see the screen there please see the screen point number 1 if you can observe the screen clearly there example present value of single cash flow present value of single cash flow see the screen once okay i will change the mode <coughs> Uh, you see now present value of single cash flow year 3 3 years after you are going to receive a cash flow of how much 1 lakh answer 1 lakh. lakh interest is how much you are expecting below what i said please read the statement i need rupees 1 lakh after 3 years so how much i deposit i should deposit today to have a maturity value of rupees 1 lakh after 3 years now tell me in future i want 1 lakh today i want 1 lakh future. answer future future la i want 1 lakh not today clear everyone so formula tell me i want discounting of 1 lakh compounding of 1 lakh ha uh, one second last benches la everyone please respond properly i have a very bad habit of repetition if you don't listen i can't do anything but i will repeat once again your time only will get wasted i mean to say very seriously so please listen carefully see the screen if it is not visible at least tell me i will zoom the answer uh. is it okay now uh. now answer how much i want after 3 years now i want future value or present value present means i want to know how much i need to deposit today at how much percent to reach after that's all that means i want present value of future cash flow na future value of present cash flow sir i mixed answers i received i want present value of a future cash flow na future value of present cash flow na present value of future cash flow that means i want how much i need to invest today which will make 1 lakh 1 lakh, one lakh when today na after one year that's all that means i want the present value of three future years cash flow i will receive money next year second year third year how much 1 lakh will be received after 3 years if i invest 1 lakh today na no. i should invest lesser than 1 lakh which will be made as 1 lakh after 3 years that means i need to invest 1 lakh or less than 1 lakh so it should be lower than 1 lakh higher no. therefore what i should do discount it yesterday i told you very clearly division is also called as a continuous subtraction it should be lesser than 1 lakh 
how much it is is a question now we want pv value or fv value formula equal to pv equal to fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n how many times how many times you can do like that r fv minus 1 plus r whole 1 plus r in minus 1 plus r minus 1 plus r 3 years if you do you will get the same answer i told you division is also called as a continuous subtraction did you understand my point or not so therefore instead of doing those times they will just keep n place so they will put 3 so they will divide it so fv divided by read read fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n will give you the answer please write down write the question keep the heading example present value of single cash flow 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 write down the question Copy the question everyone and uh, now write down the answer. We want to know the present value of future cash flow. Formula is, keep it in the box, PV equal to FV into, sorry, FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N. Completed doing the answer. PV equal to present value, FE equal to future value, R equal to rate of return, N means time periods. Uh, time is very important. 
బికాస్ దట్ డిసైడ్స్ హౌ మెనీ ఇయర్స్ టు కాంపౌండ్ ఆర్ డిస్కౌంట్ డన్ విత్ ద ఆన్సర్ సో పివి ఈక్వల్ టు ఎఫ్ఈ వన్ ల్యాక్ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ ఆల్రెడీ ఆర్ షుడ్ బి ఆల్వేస్ ఇన్ విచ్ టర్మ్స్ సార్ యూ డింట్ రైట్ ఇన్ పర్సంటేజ్ సార్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ పాయింట్ వన్ సార్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ మీన్స్ టెన్ బై హండ్రెడ్ ఆర్ నాట్ హలో ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ టు యూ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ మీన్స్ టెన్ బై హండ్రెడ్ టెన్ బై హండ్రెడ్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బి రిటర్న్ యాజ్ పాయింట్ వన్ సో నౌ టెల్ మీ ట్వంటీ త్రీ పర్సెంట్ హౌ టు రైట్ పాయింట్ టూ త్రీ థర్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో దట్స్ ఆల్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సో పర్సెంటేజ్ మీన్స్ యూ నీడ్ నాట్ రైట్ ఇన్ పర్సెంటేజ్ యూ నీడ్ టు అడాప్ట్ దట్ పర్సెంటేజెస్ ఇన్ డిసిమల్ ఫామ్ సో ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ రైటింగ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పర్సెంట్ యూ కెన్ రైట్ పాయింట్ వన్ ఫైవ్ క్లియర్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ గాట్ ద ఆన్సర్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ థర్టీ యాజ్ ద షోన్ దేర్ నౌ లెసన్ కేర్ఫుల్లీ దిస్ ఈస్ నాట్ న్యూ ఫర్ యూ యాక్చువల్లీ బికాస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్రెడీ కవర్డ్ ఇట్ సిఏ ఫౌండేషన్ ఓకే టైమ్ వ్యాల్యూ ఆఫ్ మనీ బట్ ఐ వాంట్ ద మీనింగ్ వాట్ దిస్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ మీన్ టు సే డోంట్ టెల్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ హౌ టు ఇంటర్ప్రెట్ దిస్ టెన్ పర్సెంట్ is a question how to interpret that 10% mathematics la up to here you will learn pakka because it is there in your syllabus na so i don't have any doubts about that so definitely you might have learned but my question is not on uh, that particular issue my question is when you are seeing this 10% what is the real meaning of that 10 what is that 10% are don't tell uh, inflation uh, opportunity cost uh, don't make it so complicated i'm not asking technical terminology or technical language used on that i am asking what will be that 10% means you will tell interest or you will tell discounting rate like that you can use various words ah uh, now listen 75130 should be deposited today na uh, after 3 years uh, to reach today and nah, after 3 years ah uh. everyone ah uh, now my question starts answer this question and then you can understand the meaning clearly okay tell me now for example for example uh you do one thing take calculator 75130 uh, how much you are depositing today 75130 i'm talking to everyone how much at what rate at what rate means 75130 if you deposit every year it will give 10% on that 75130 or not yes, means tell me 75130 into 10% how much 7513 hello everyone listening ah yes, so tell me now tell me 75130 i will receive today na, or i have to invest today na, after 3 years ah i have to invest today na, after 3 years ah today i need to invest how much <laughs> at what rate <laughs> every year how much i will get as an interest 7513 for how many years, years. multiply 7513 into 3 7513 yeah 13 into 3 how much that mean for your investment of 75130 clear totally how much interest you got 22000 add that to 20, 75130 97000 it is not equal to 1 lakh ah one second don't get excited i will ask you one question you answer this at least tell me you went to a bank you made a deposit of 1 lakh deposit of 1 lakh now tell me bank will pay interest on compounding basis sir simple interest sir compounding uh, which bank uh, give address i will also go then no one will invest in stock markets uh, yaar compounding interest paying banks in india who said 
uh, which bank is paying compounding interest please tell me one bank name okay this will be the last fm session i will tell i am not understanding fm properly i am very sorry no bank will pay compounding interest all it is against to rbi guidelines rbi to the banks will give in which interest rate uh, simple interest what rbi does with banks bank will do the same with public rates will change concept is same okay banking regulation act prohibits compounding interest compounding interest do you know on what we will pay on penalties will will pay if you have to pay emi to the bank if you don't pay na then bank will impose compounding interest on you they will not pay on your deposits are you understanding or not yes sir tell me now see the screen 75130 i am depositing today na after 3 years sir today answer today means my 75130 will pay me 7513 interest in that particular 75130 principal i invested yes. clear i will give you one example sir answer i made a fd of 1 lakh fd fixed deposit yes. of lakh. of 1 lakh. lakh now answer 10 8% interest so on my 1 lakh how much i will get after 1 year answer sir because principal invested is 1 lakh on that 8% 8000 second year again principal invested is how much 1 lakh on that again 8% will come so again how much it will come 8000 that means something they want to tell through this number 75130 is invested principal at how much rate 8, at how much rate 8, always remember pv factors assumes reinvestment pv factor assume reinvestment like in the previous example i said you how much i invested as a fd in the deposit people are not in this world come back again how much every minute please be in this world why your brain will get tripped all of a sudden again how much you deposited today in a bank you deposited 1 lakh okay 8% interest first year ending how much you got how much you got 8000 you have to reinvest that 8000 again in the same fd at the same rate then only 1 lakh will come this 1 lakh is always a manipulated number that's why whenever mutual fund companies are there which one we are giving 22% return they will announce on holdings first you should see there will be a small star mark okay not market conditions they will clearly write that these are on the basis of uh, these are the amounts whatever the return 22% what they say will be true only if the amounts are reinvested at the same rate of return i will give you an example listen carefully there is a mutual fund there is a mutual fund company i put 1 lakh miracles happened during their stock market raised okay 18% return i got listening yes, how much i invested 1 how much i got 18%, 18% means how much rupees 18000 i got clear everyone now what i will do this 1 lakh this 18000 both now how much 1 lakh 18000 i will reinvest back i will reinvest back now tell me 18000 next year also i got i repeat everyone be in this world 1 lakh i invested 1 lakh i invested how much it is 18% means how much i i got totally how much it is i again reinvested back 18000 i received again so how much percent wrong it is 18000 on 1 lakh 18000 now are you understanding the point or not that means that means listen you were 1 lakh 18000 giving 18000 is not great when 1 lakh has given 18000 1 lakh 18000 should give more than 18000 are you understanding or not yes, that means answer my question clearly market has given me 18000 next year also first time 18000 i am very happy 
second time 18000 i am unhappy because that 18000 was received from my investment of 180 not on 1 lakh listening everyone that means it should give more return than 18 percent to get that amount are you understanding the point or not same way try to understand see the numbers properly see the screen i will show you the workings behind this 75130 see there first interpretation of this formula or numbers wrong 75130 is the principal invested when principal of 75130 is invested when today, today na, after 3 years ah how much i invested at what rate generally every year it should give how much in that way if you do how much you got at the end 22,540 interest how much principal total put together became how much but we should reach how much that means something is going wrong 10% if you take directly listen 10% if you take directly on 75,130 it will become 7,513 Every year, 7,513, 7,513, 7,513, if you get, at the end you will get 22,540. If you add it to the principal of 75,130, it comes only to 97,670. Means, getting interest every year is not the requirement. Something you need to do with that 7,510 or 7,513. What I have to do? This is the correct methodology. Read. First year, how much I deposited? I mean, first year beginning, zero year. How much I deposited? How much interest I received? At the end of first year, how much it became? 82,000. Now, how much I received at the end of second year? 82, first year, 82,643. Next year, how much I reinvested? 82,640. Now, I will get interest on 82,643, which became 90,000. 907 at the end of at the end of again i reinvest that 90907 it becomes how much 99998 almost reaching 1 lakh means what is the assumption of a pv factor reinvestment at the same rate reinvestment at the you go to bank Bank said that we will pay you a return of 10%. Means, if you don't reinvest, you will get less than 10 on hand. 97,000, how much is, ah, 97,670 by 1 lakh will be, listening everyone, 97,670. Say for example, if you have got that, that means you are getting 10% or lesser than 10%. Less than 10%. That means in order to achieve the return of 10%, you should reinvest again. I repeat one more time, listening everyone. You, if you invest 75,130, listening everyone, if you invest, when? Wait for. It will become. Provided. Intermediate funds are there, na? Which ones? What do you mean intermediate, intermediate funds? Interest. First year how much? <laughs> that I should keep in dust bin, eat or reinvest? Eat. At what rate? Eat. Not available in the market. What to do? Cry. Therefore, never believe in the bank rates. Are you understanding or not? Sir, I tried to reinvest at the same rate, sir. RBI reduced the interest rate, sir. 10 came to 9.2, sir. Now, how to do, sir? Nothing you can do, sir. For that, there is one strategy called as immunization. If you want to learn, recent CA final marathon, one lecture, la bond immunization strategy was kept. How all the banks will maintain the standard rates of interest? Means, did you understand the problem, what I said, no or not? How much you invested? How much I invested? First year, how much you got? That amount you need to reinvest at? Are they? What is the same rate? Not there. Market will downfall. Even then if you have to get that 10%, there is a concept called as an immunization strategy. Beautifully the banks and mutual funds are doing today. 
through that strategy they will still get the 10% return. That's the science behind that formulas are there. Conceptually you need to understand. But there is a strategy also for that. In the world there is no concept called as a no strategy contained financial uh, instruments. Every financial instrument is having their own strategies. Some may work, some may fail. Am I clear? Because it's always stock market. You can't control that. Everyone understood the logic or not? This I can present in much beautiful way. Tell me now, how much I invested? <laughs> ah, till you answer, I will ask the same question. Either you should get irritated or you should answer consistently the same thing. So first, I will tell you, I will draw a statement and I will show you the proof clearly. Here, 1, 2, 3. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Tell me, cash flow. How much cash flow I am getting at the end of first year? Answer, sir. 7,513. 7,513. Now tell me, balance. 75,000. Oh, no, no, balance means not that. Listen. 75,130 I invested today or not? You just calculate what I ask, please. Don't do creativity. Okay. Listen. 7,513 7, I received as an interest at the end of first year or not? Yes, I will keep this interest ideal. I have to reinvest. Yes, okay. Second year? 7,513. Next third year? 7,005. This is what bank really pay you. What you have to do? Reinvest. So, tell me, one means, first year end, first year beginning. Total life? Be in this world. Total life? Three years. Uh, three years. In that, 7513 comes today, na, after three years. Uh. After first year, second year, third year. You should keep them idle, uh, reinvest. Uh. By the end of first year, if I go for reinvestment, I can reinvest for three years, uh, two years, uh, one year. Uh. Re, 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 re. See again, again, start from the beginning. 7513 is the interest that I received today na, after one year. After one year, total life? Yeah. One year already? Yeah. That means you can reinvest for how many years? So two years you can reinvest it. Clear everyone? Ah, tell me, balance how many years? Two years. This is 7513 received today na, after two years. Ah. That means I can reinvest only for another one year. How much it will be? One. This uh, received today na, after three years. Ah. By the end of three years, I want my one lakh. No reinvestment. I have to take my money. So how many years? Zero. Now tell me. This is the value at the end of this. This. Answer. When I reinvest this for two years, I will get a future value. Formula tell me future value equal to uh, n value into 1 plus r whole power n. Everyone participate and tell me at what rate I have to reinvest again. Very good. Tell me 7513 uh, into 1.1 whole square. 7513 into 1.1. 7513 into 1. Do you understand why 1? 1.10 1 power 0 is 1. A power 0. A power 0. 1.10 power 0. That is 1. Understanding or not everyone? Ah, tell me what is the future value. 7513 into 1.1 into 1.1. 9091 9, 9, 9, 9, uh, second now do you understand the numbers 260 4 next 7513 75 at the end of listening uh, now tell me at the end of uh, third year, how much I will be receiving totally? 24? 8? 68. Plus how much I invested? 
total them 90 998 this is how you got those numbers that means you have to reinvest again at the same rate then that one lakh will come this is a real meaning did you understand or not yes, sir. so tell me bank will pay you how much 7,513 they don't pay on compounding basis it is your headache to reinvest them again. Sir, when I try to reinvest, market like interest rate falls, sir, RBI reduced interest rates at 10%, became 8%, sir, but I want 10%, sir, what I need to do, sir. Then first point, you go to your financial analyst who can plan your finances properly. So who can show you a route where the you can get again 10% even though there is a market fall using a strategy called as bond immunization strategy. If you want any idea, consultation fees, coaching case always available. Okay, so try to understand clearly the point behind this concept is it is the headache of investor to do what? Reinvest. Bank will not tell come. First year you got 7,530. There they will give 10. Go and reinvest. Who will not tell like that? Bank will never tell. That is your headache. Mutual fund also won't tell. Arre, market la fall happened. I will give you 10. Mutual fund also won't tell. It is until you are. So tell me, when the hoardings, advertisements you see, 10%, 12%, 20%, what is implied within that percentage? You have to unsatisfied. You have to at the same rate. Then only you will get that 10% or 12% or 15% or 20% as the case may be. Understood the logic clearly or not? Yes, this is the real meaning of that 10% in CA foundation, what you learned. 10% like this much of science is involved. Clear? Understood the point, everyone? Yes, Any one of you in the class didn't understand, please raise the hand. I will repeat one last time and I will go to the next one. If you didn't understand, don't hesitate. Sir, I, if I raise the hand, you will target me. Sir, first point. I won't do. Second point, if you really don't want to raise the hand, at least like Akasa Ramana, somewhere, say yes, I will repeat once again. Shall I repeat once again? Shall I repeat? Once yes. Shall I repeat? Shall I repeat? Pakka. I can go to the next one. Sorry, okay. So now, did you understand the meaning of uh, uh, reinvestment now? So, really, bank will give you only. It won't give you. It won't give you compounding. It is your problem where to reinvest this again. Are you understanding or not? Yes, sir. 7,513 came. You ate. 7,513 came. You ate. 7,513 came. You ate. At the end of three years, you will have 24,868. Uh, you will have 22,540. Uh. Then your return will be 10, uh, not 10, uh, not 10. That's the meaning. Understood the point clearly or not? So this is the meaning. More about this we will understand in capital budgeting. Final. Uh. Uh, then what you will do in intersleep? Uh? <laughs> so see there. See the screen once. This is what you need to write. First, read the notes. PV factors always assumes reinvestment rate. Reinvestment, that means if PV is 10%, the return on investment shall be 10%. Only if that amount is reinvested at the same rate. More on this shall be discussed in the chapter. Capital budgeting, there one concept will come. Hmm? Land sliding concept. Name of the concept I will tell you. You remember the concept is called as a NPV, IRR, disparities and rectifications. At that time, shake, shake. <laughs> so at that time you will really understand the meaning of reinvestments. Before that, please copy the notes. Interpretation.
ಪತ್ರ ಹಿಡೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ to hear also you didn't write you are writing simultaneously both the sides how can you write like that how you can write simultaneously on both sides completed the left side ha uh, ha uh, bottom there is a point is it visible sir you do whatever you want copy down the other side also left side content completed ah uh? okay write down the right side content make it fast one name or down one name or upwards or no downwards
सर कंप्लीटेड राइटिंग राइट ऑन दिस नोट्स आल्सो एट द लास्ट नोट पीवी फैक्टर्स ऑलवेज अज्यूम्स री इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट मींस इफ पीवी इज 10 परसेंट द रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट शेल बी 10 परसेंट ओनली इफ दैट अमाउंट इज री इन्वेस्टेड एट सेम रेट capital budgeting la in and out regarding this we will calculate seriously believe me each and every point inside the pv factors you can understand completed so pv factors always can assumes reinvestment rate if you want the 10% reinvestment so the investment rate you should reinvest at the same rate of 10% next one so now we completed the basic concept of pv factors and reinvestment the next stage see here please listen cash flows are of four types in our uh, subject totally in fm whether you take interfinal anything there will be only four types of cash flows cash flow type number 1 you can see there the first type of cash flow is called as single cash flow second time is called as annuity cash flow third one is called as multiple and okay i have written that in second okay second multiple uneven cash flows and next one is annuity cash flows and last one will be perpetual cash flows let's summarize everything once again there are four kinds of cash flows number one single cash flow one by one let us understand the example single cash flow name itself is very clearly saying that it's one time cash flow that comes example there are lic policies if you invest in a lic premium you will receive the amount today na in future how many times you will receive one time those are called as a future cash flow but there will be only single cash flow so tell me what is the first type not answering number 1 cash flow previous example whatever we have done 75000 130 that's a single cash flow clear everyone example example sake you can understand insurance policies can be a classic example i invested today i slept for 25 years 25 years after i wake up i will receive some bulk amount in hand means how many inflows you are receiving one that is called as what inflow single cash flow that's a first type if i write year cash flow year place la what i write there please see and tell year year place i have written what here in the year place 10 means 1 to 10 years ha huh? 10th year ending ha everyone if it is 1 to 10 how to write 1-10 means from 1 to 10th year like that you can understand clear everyone 1 to 10 means first ending to 10th ending that's the meaning clear everyone 
Now I have written there 1 to 10 or 10. Yes. Means 1 to 10 years are 10th year ending. Yes. How many cash flows? Yes. One. Take the second example. What is the second one? Yes. Multiple uneven cash flows. Listen carefully. What is this multiple uneven cash flow? First, you should tell me one point. Multiple means singular more than one. So therefore, cash flows will not be one. It will be multiples. 5, 10, 3, 4, like that. Multiple. It will not be one. More than one cash flow. But uneven. Classic example. Plant and machinery, land and buildings, etc. Example I will tell you. Plant and machinery is there. Which one? Plant and machinery. Plant and machinery also leave off. Educational institutions. They will get same number of students and same amount. Huh? It will change. Yeah. May increase. Yeah. May decrease. But never it will be constant. Tell me. Batch 1. I will get some amount. Batch 2. After 6 months I started. I will get the same amount. Huh? Higher or lesser. Yeah. Maybe higher. Maybe lesser sometimes. Clear. Huh? Yeah. Year 1. I got 600 students. Year 2. I got 730 students. Year 3. I got 610 students. Year 4, I got 530 students. Year 5, I got 900 students. If you observe this pattern, number of students are same or different? different. Answer? Different. So, if you multiply by per student fee, you will get the same revenue or different revenue? Different. Therefore, there is one cash flow on a multiple. multiple. Even a uneven cash flow. Sir. Those comes under second category. Like that you need to write in the papers. If a question comes, first in the mind, what you need to understand? Which kind of cash flow the question belongs to? Is it a? Yeah. Everyone respond. Is it a single cash flow or multiple uneven cash flow? Second part. Third one. What is the third one? Classic example. In, uh, interest, debentures interest, etc. Tell me. Debenture interest is fixed or variable. Fixed a variable. 10% on 1000. How much I will get? 10% on 1000. How much I will get? Second year? Third year? Tenth year? Multiple of one. Multiple. But even. Those are called as multiple even cash flows. Those are also called as annuity cash flows. Clear or not? Yes, first type. Yes, I will not repeat so many times. You should repeat rather. First one. Yes, Second one. Yes, Third one. Yes, Annuity cash flows. Or multiple even cash flows. Multiple uneven. Rend multiple uneven. Are you understanding the points? Third one. Sorry, last one. Perpetual cash flow. That's a big story. We have second chapter called as dividends. At that time we will understand. Okay. That's why I have clearly written there. Discuss individually in the, sorry, discussed in the dividends concept. There is a chapter called as a dividends impact. Second chapter for you. In that chapter we will discuss about that more in detail. In this chapter cost of capital also we will understand it. I will not tell the logic there. I will tell this is a formula. Give the answer. But the logic behind that formula. First concept of dividends chapter called as a Walters model. First topic only that concept will come. Listening. Yes, there we will do the answers. With regard to perpetual cash flows. Perpetual cash flows means what? Name learn very clear. One time, multiple times. Or infinite times. It is not uneven it is even but multiple means there should be some number 10 5 8 12 like that multiple but that multiple continues till how many years no one knows indefinite number of years it is continuing how to do the valuation is the challenge there that we are going to understand everyone understood the point clearly or not yes, tell me how many cash flows will be there Four. number one yes, second one Third one. Fourth one. I will tell you the name of the instrument or an asset. You should tell the nature of cash flows it gave. 
LIC. No interest bonds. No interest bonds. 10 years bond life. No interest. One time you invest. One second. Invest 5,000. Take 25,000. That's all. In middle I will not give you anything. Sir, these are available. Huh? These are called as zero coupon bonds. What these are called as? Zero coupon bond. Coupon means interest. Zero coupon means no interest. Tell me. Zero coupon bond. Zero coupon bond. Invest 100 today. Take 1000 after 5 years. Invest 100 today. Every year I will pay you 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 for 10 years and I will also give you 100. Fantastic. Next one. You invest today. I will give every year. But how much I will give I don't know. In invest in the share of a company. Perpetually you continue. These are the four cash flow types. Everyone understood the concept clearly or not? So four cash flows. Please copy it on the notes clearly. Uh, don't write the below one because already you completed the test today. Okay. Write down, keep the heading. This is a topic number. <coughs> what not? You are not putting numbers also. Are, this is a flow, therefore I will write. I am changing the flow and I am making it first one second book. First uh, why this chapter completed writing? Huh? Yeah. Ah, that is one. Next, various types of cash flows and compounding. Second, concept of TVM in uh, nutshell. Third, next, uh, pictorial representation. That will be four. Now, this will be the fifth one. Now this will become the fifth one. Sir, I didn't understand this numbering also, sir. Go to hell, write whatever you want. This also you need assistance means I can't do anything. Okay. And now fifth one. Fifth one. Ah, keep the heading. Types of cash flow streams. Types of cash flow streams. Types of cash flow streams. Branch it into four. Show some urgency in writing. Branch into four. Everyone hand the colored pens, huh? yes, Please don't be confused in that case. Okay. When I say I will say for a purpose or else why I will ask you to buy? We are doing any competition, a color competition, no. But why I am asking you to write is after two months or after one month, one month the classes are completed. If you open the book it should be appealing. First you should feel I should read this. The same theory I follow for FM, law, all these subjects. Why? That color will give you any intimacy that at least this is my subject I have to read. So please write down clearly. Those many pens also not required. You are selling pens. Huh? <laughs> 10 rupees each pen. Right, right, right. And there is no way. I will go from that side. <laughs> right, right. Where is Kishore? Kishore? Hi. Nice meeting you. Blue and black are not colors. Please, bro. For me at least.
completed writing so we now completed these are not types of cash flows sir. these are the types of cash flow streams the flow of cash flows can happen in four ways one time it can come multiple times evenly it can come multiple times une uneven it can come sometimes it can also become a perpetual cash flow any type these are called as a streams of cash flows now listen up to here everyone whatever we discuss understood ah uh, the last set is calculations part in exam or in the class we have to do questions or not how to do what are the ways of doing it that we are going to concentrate on please see here i will give you enough time to copy so please listen carefully these are all the basics that you need to understand see here okay see the screen see the screen ways of calculating ways of calculating the pv factors question com comes in the uh, book or in exam a question will be asked how to solve it you can have three methods of doing an answer pv factor will be given for the exam you can do it in three ways way number 1 using a formula you can do see the formula clearly see the formula what it is 1 by 1 plus r whole power n 1 by 1 plus r whole power n okay second one table sometimes in the exam they will give you the table directly okay pv factor table will be there i will show you how it look like study material everyone brought huh? yes, first book last la financial tables will be there one second give me ah yes it is there last pages last pages financial tables hello everyone have you seen the financial tables yes sir how to see that financial tables i will tell you today now we are going to learn that before break i will complete all these issues so please listen carefully so next 15 minutes or 20 minutes our target is to understand how to do any kind of pv factor in all the three ways clear in all the three ways how to do one using the formula second using the table third one without using formula without using uh, tables using calculator also you can do how to do that also i will show you okay example we will take and we will see please see the screen sir then when calculator like and do i will go for third model only sir problem is institute expects you to answer fully directly if you put an answer from calculator na it doesn't look good therefore it is always good to learn the formula but to understand the background of the formula is much more important sir okay i will give you one example you please see there what is r very good what is n number of other number of years or i can tell life life is the n r r again some people are not in this world please come back again don't waste my time and your time as well listen carefully what is r very good what is n life okay now listen why that formula because fv into 1 by 1 plus r whole power n only will give you the present value if to this 1 uh, by 1 plus r whole power n if you multiply it with fv it will give you what 
PV, present value will be coming. Are you understanding or not? Yes, sir. So, FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N equal to? PV. Repetition, FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N equal to? PV. That means to know PV, FV should be applied on this formula only. Yes or no? Yes, sir. At least from this you need to understand one thing. Let us see how many of you will at least to some extent recognize the intention behind. Okay? See the formula 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. Observe that properly. Like some hypnotism, you see that. Something he want to tell. No, no. No, no. It want to tell something. PV equal to FV into 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. I am giving hint. Don't ask anything else. I will not answer. I will not answer your questions. You answer to my question. FV equal to, sorry, PV equal to FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N or FV into 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. Anything is same. A by B can also be written as A into 1 by B. FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N can also be written as FV into 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. Are you answer here? Yes, Financial management will have mathematics or not? Yes. yes, all the rules of maths will come again. That rule you need to understand. A by B can also be written as? A into 1 by B. Likewise, FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N can also be written as? FV into uh, 1 plus R, 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. That means this is the formula you are applying on that. Clear or not everyone? What is the meaning? Shall I tell you? I don't want to waste your time. Present value and future value. Listen, listen. Listen. Present value and future value calculations we are doing that. PV equal to FV divided by 1 plus R whole power N. Understood the point? Uh? Listen. PV means what is the full form? Fantastic. Present value of dash. Rocks. Uh? Salt. Uh? Present value of what? Future cash flow size, I don't want. I want correct terminology. Value of what? Correct. Value of what? Value of what? This asset value is derived from future cash flows. Okay. Divided by 1 plus, divided by 1 plus R whole power N. You should understand value of an asset and R. Value of an asset and N are inversely proportional. If one increases, one decrease. 1 by 1 plus R whole power N means it is having a multiplication and division. Means it is having a inverse relation and direct relation. 100 by 10. 100 into 10. You can understand the difference. 100 by 10. 10, 100 into 10, 100 by 10 means the number will be less or more, 100 by 10, 100 by 10, 100 by 10, 100 into 10, that's all, multiplication will always increase, division will always decrease, PV equal to 1 by 1 plus R whole power N into FV, that means whenever R rate is increasing, R, 1 by 1 plus R, R, R plus if you put 10 percent you will get one answer. If you put 12 percent you will get another answer. That answer will be definitely lesser. I will now show you through some calculations on calculator only. First listen carefully. 1 lakh divided by, 1 lakh divided by 1.10 power 3. You calculate and tell me the answer. Are ask the same question again. 1 lakh, see here, 1 lakh uh, divided by 1.10 power 3. 75,131. Sorry, okay. Now you made 130, okay, leave off. Now, what is this? This is the value of the asset today. Okay, now tell me, 1 lakh divided by 1.12 power 3. Seventy one thousand one seventy. 
hence proved that means the value of the asset and r are always direct proportional inverse proportional one increases another decrease one decreases another increase 1 lakh divided by 1.08 power 3 79000 what is the meaning behind this value increase or decrease da value of the asset increase or decrease da what is the moral of the story asset value and the rate of return are sleep proportional rate increases asset value decrease rate decreases asset value increase this is a moral of the story relation between asset and the rate of returns everyone understood the point clearly or not very very important point that one has to observe okay now let us see so you can do the answer in three ways one formula approach one formula second one table third one directly calculator you can use like what you are doing now now you have done the third one if you see the calci type first what you type 1 by 1.10 uh, how many times you press this equal to three times how many of you frankly tell me don't know how to do the pv factor calculation on calculator anyone sir if you say at least i can show you how to do if you don't tell to me na i will presume that you know and i will go into the problems at that time you will feel bad shall i tell how to do that ah that's all thank you very much give the calculator once okay see here ah visible eh? ah, no problem see here mm, thank you <laughs> sir see here eh see here don't fight whenever a question is given please how to do the calculation tell me pv factor formula is 1 by 1 plus r whole power whole power yes. first what you need to do first thing is if they give say for example 15% for 5 years 15% for 5 years. 15% for 5 years. in the given example i will invest 75130 i will invest 75130 today na after 3 years i will receive amount after or i can tell this way i will receive 1 lakh today and after 3 years sir what is my required return what is my required return 10% that means how much i have to invest today 75130 yes sir no how you got that 7 1 lakh divided by future value divided by 1 uh, plus 0.1 whole power 3 to do that take the calculator 1 divided by 1.1 press equal to 3 times 1 2 3 you got 0.7513 you can see on the screen take three digits only institute will consider only up to three digit round off to the third digit if i get 0.7519 how to take 0.752 close it third decimal you need to close <sighs> listening or not everyone yes, sir. everyone outs tell out how to do i want 18% for 6 years take calculator 18% for 6 years take calculator 1 divided by everyone one divided by 1.18 how many times equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 how much is the value 0.37 0 na 0 that's all 0.370 everyone got the answer or not yes sir 
Anyone want me to repeat? No, Tell me for 20 percent now, for 10 years. Sir, sir, you are a taka 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 calculation I don't want. I want to express clearly because everyone has to understand. Tell me, 1 divided by? 1 divided by 2. Uh. Very good. 1 divided by 2, if you make no, weird answers, you will get. 1 uh, divided by 1.2. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Point one six two. Yes or no, everyone? Yes, sir. That's all. This is how you need to do. Everyone understood the point? That's all, sir. This is how you need to do. So, valuation should be done that way. With the calculator, whatever we have done now is coming under first category, second, or third. First, we have done the third one. Easiest method possible. But, institute may not give you the marks. For in, because institute should know. Sir, you have done all these in calculator. How do I know? Maybe you copied from other page. Therefore, you have to show the working clearly. For that, you need to write down formula. 1 by 1 plus R whole power N. You have to write it clearly. Clear or not everyone? For that, this will be useful. First, tell me, formula everyone understood? Yes, sir. Inversa, directa. Inverse relation between whom and whom? Yeah. Asset value and? Yeah. R increases, yeah. asset value fall, R decreases. Rate decreases, yeah. asset value increases. This is how the relationship will be. Clear? And we proved that through numbers also. Yeah. Done. After that, second one. Okay? Tables. Please open the financial tables once. There will be four types of tables. Please come to, I will tell you the meanings of each and everything. Please see the screen once and you also see your notes. Please read this. Present value of future value. Future value, future value of? 1 rupee today. Future value of 1 rupee today. Means it is compounding or discounting. Tell me, is it wrong to repeat answers to you? You will feel irritated when I repeat. But you irritate me by giving wrong answers of what we discussed 10-15 times. Future value will be always an indicator of a discounting or compounding. Compounding. Present value is an indicator of Discounting. Future value is an indicator of compounding. That's why the compound sum of 1 rupee. We want now 1 by a 1 into a. Now we want the compounding 1 into. We want 1 by 1 plus r whole power n. Means we want discounting a compounding. A. Answer. So we need to go to the next table and check. What is this? Uh, present value of rupees 1. This is 1 we want. Write down here a discounting table. Discounting table. Sorry, I will ask you a question answer. And this is applicable to everyone. Please properly observe. I want, I will show you first after that, next two, three questions, you answer. I want 7%. My R is how much? R is how much? N is 14 years. N is 14 years. See the screen. See the screen. What we need to look? 7. Corresponding, I need to look? 14. I need to look what? 14. So, go like this. Stop here. What is the number? 0.388 like that you can see and you can do this is how the PV factor table has to be looked after everyone understood yes, sir. shall I ask you a question will you answer now yes, sir. my R is 14 percent N is a 7 
how much percent i ask you how many years now what you understand how much it is point 4 shall i ask another my r equal to or my n equal to 18 r equal to 8 8 for 18 point 25 18 percent for how many years sir 8 years how many years i ask you 18 years sir okay okay 18 years at 8 percent so how much the answer is point 25 uh, now answer listen Point two five zero is your answer, yes sir. No, uh, I will ask you one small question. Answer. What is the meaning of point two five zero? Is a question. Okay, I am zooming it. I will ask you questions one by one. Answer. What is the meaning of point two five zero? The meaning is, if you are, this is a present value table, a future value. All values are in today's terms or future terms, sir. fantastic see the screen point is point 25 means what 1 rupee after how many years 18 years i will receive 1 rupee today na after 18 years sir answer properly i will receive 1 rupee today na after 18 years sir after 18 years how much interest i want at that rate of 8% for 18 years Today that one rupee value will be point two five. Today that one rupee value will be point how many times point two five. I will ask you one question with common sense, if any answer. What is R? Ha, in my example R. Ha? For how many years? One rupee is how much? Our asset to future value is one rupee. Today what is my present value of asset? Fantastic! What is the present value? Now R equal to not eight. R equal to seven for eighteen percent. You need not see upper just one point above. Point seventeen year. Listening, everyone. Listening. R equal to how much percent? I said seven percent for eighteen years. You tell me how much it will be. Point two nine zero. Six are they? Ah, sir, point two nine six. Now tell me, my asset value is point two five or point two nine six? Ah, asset value increased or decreased? Na? With the decrease of R, increase of R. That's what I want to tell. When R decreases, asset values will increase. This is a proof. Everyone understood the point clearly. This is how PV factor tables can be seen. First, everyone, one yes, understood or not? Yes, sir. Very good. So now you need to copy the notes. Once you copy, we go to the next one. Okay? Please copy down this. No breaker until you copy this. Write down. Copy down. Sixth, ah, uh? ah, sixth concept. Ways of calculating PV factor. Sixth one. Ways of calculating PV factor. One second, I will change this. Okay. Ways of calculating PV factor. Sir, everyone understood how to see the table. Yes, sir. Ah, in uh, class, whenever question comes, we will do in all the three ways. For the first initial problems, more clarity will come. Write down neatly. Ways of calculating PV factor.
So down below there is a small illustration type to make you understand, also do that. In a table you have to write like this. Uh, everyone completed the three branches? Three branches. Uh. In the exams, problem has to be done with the following format. Year, cash flow, PV at the rate of, how much percent it is? 8. Example I have taken. PVCF, also called as a discounted cash flow. PVCF means present value of future cash flows. Write down. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Write down. <laughs> Write down this. Here cash flow PV at the rate of 8% PVCF. Also called as a DCF. Discounted cash flows. 10 means 10 years are 10th year. 10th year. 10th year end. After 10 years I will receive 50 lakh. After 10 years, I will receive 50 lakh at 8% for 10 years. What is the present value? 23 lakh 15,967 means you can understand this in two ways. From present value point of view, if we invest 25,000, sorry, 23 lakh 15,967 today at 8% per annum return with intermittent reinvestment at same rate we get a maturity value of rupees 50 lakh. From the future value point of view, the value of rupees 50 lakh after 10 years is not same. Rupees 50 lakh today, it will be very less in today's term. In short, it will be only 23 lakh 15,967. You can understand either from present value point of view or future value point of view. That also you didn't write, copy.
completed so write down the interpretations also properly from the present value point of view if we invest 23 lakh 15,967 today in the present value terms at 8% with intermittent reinvestment at the same rate we get a maturity value of 50 lakh from the future value point of view the value of 50 lakhs after 10 years is not same as rupees 50 lakh today it will be very less in today's terms in short it will be only 23 lakh 15,967 Okay, now completed everyone. So keep the heading. Which question you are writing? Number? How many completed? Six. Okay, sixth one, this will be A. In six, present value will become A. Ways of calculating PV factor now. This is A. Okay. This is write down clearly somewhere. Present value of single cash flow present value of single cash flow how many cash flows are given in this example one so this is the present value of single cash flow next keep the heading b present value of annuity cash flow present value of annuity cash flow keep the heading and take a break So let us continue. Okay. So listen. <clears throat> Next concept present value of annuity cash flow. Write down. Present value of annuity cash flow. Annuity cash flow is a cash flow which comes for one uh, year, uh, multiple. But even, uh, uneven. Uh. Even. So therefore, 1 lakh, 1 lakh and 1 lakh. So please, do that. First, copy down the question. In question number 6 or 7? Six. 6. It is B. Write down. Present value of annuity cash flows. Present value of annuity cash flows. Present value of annuity cash flows. Just copy down the question. Way 1, way 2, way 3, I will explain. Tables also we will see now. Present value of annuity cash flows. Write down the question. Example year 1, 2 and 3, cash flow, 1 lakh, 1 lakh and 1 lakh. So interest at the rate of 10%. Okay, shall we continue? Okay, don't copy anything, don't answer anything, please listen first. I will tell you three ways of doing this. Way number one, you can see on the screen uh, the first way as to how to do it. Okay? First, see here now. First one. What is the formula for present value? Future value, Future value divided by 1 plus r whole power n. 1 lakh I will receive one time, uh, three times. Uh. At the same time frame at different time frames are time frame. Chep, no. see there and tell me first one lakh will be received at the end of next one lakh next one lakh 
all can be added ah uh, 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh can we add all the three why all the three don't belong to a single time frame they all belong to three different time frames we can't add it will be like something like yesterday i said dollar rupee euro you can't add first convert all of them into one common currency and add here first 1 lakh will be coming at the end of second 1 lakh third 1 lakh all the 1 lakhs belong to the same time period or different ah so first point what we will do is this we can do in three ways i am getting same 1 lakh for three times in three different years yes or no yes, you have three methods of doing this you can do in three ways way number 1 tabular method like this okay first year second year third year can i add all the three no. that's what i have written below one can't uh, add this directly because all these cash flows belong to dif different time frames so you can't add them clear everyone okay tell me what is the formula for present value of future cash flows future value divided by 1 plus r whole power n take calculator what is the first year future cash flow 1 lakh. lakh so formula 1 lakh divided by Ah, one lakh divided by. First, you tell me one by one plus r whole power one. How many years after cash flow? Yen will be answer. So one lakh divided by one point one. You tell. How much I got? See the screen. Whether same thing is there or not. So how much I have written? Ninety thousand nine hundred. Nine. Nine zero. Okay. Why I have written like that? Round number will be more appealing. We are not doing any question here. Analysis of a concept. That's all. Don't work for accuracy. Understood the concept or not? Yes, sir. Ah. Now listen carefully, everyone. Please. So this is the first thing I want to convey. The first point is. One lakh will be received at the end of first year. I want the present value for that. Okay. Next year also I am receiving how much? One lakh. Answer. One lakh. But the second one lakh is received today, na? After one year, after two years, ah. We want value at the end of first year, at the end of zero year. Answer. Zero. Second one lakh is received today, na? After two years, ah. Second year should first become. first year first year should again become zero i need to bring back pull back how many times two n should be two 1 by 1 plus 0.1 whole square understood the point or not yes, sir. understood yes, sir. do that like that i got that point 826 did you understand how i have done that or not ah yes, uh, third one third one third one just answer 1 lakh is received today na after one year after two years after three years we want present value na future value a third year to bring to present value how many times i need to pull back first try pull back three becomes again one again how many times n is equal to 3 then 0.751 Clear everyone in the class. Yes, so one lakh into point nine zero nine became ninety thousand nine hundred. One lakh into point eight two six became eighty two thousand six hundred. One lakh into point seven five one becomes seventy five thousand one hundred. Now tell me ninety nine hundred, eighty two six hundred, seventy five one hundred. Can I add all the three or not? Yes, Because all belong to a common time frame. What is that common time frame? Present value. That's the meaning of present value factors. Understood the point or not? Yes, sir. FM considers yes, sir. cash flows are discounted cash flows are discounted cash flows. Everything you should tell in today's terms because you will take decision today. So I want everything compared in a today's situation. Okay? So it became two lakh forty-eight thousand six hundred. So read the notes I have written there. 
read the notes i have written there these cash flows can be added since uh, all cash flows belong to a common time frame what is a common time frame present value and uh, three or two or one or zero na zero now tell me 248600 is the inflows in present value or outflows in present value i will receive 1 lakh i will receive another 1 lakh i will receive another 1 lakh 248600 is present value of future cash inflows or future cash outflows ah huh? i will get that 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh every year if i first put a investment today today what i have to do invest invest investment is a inflow na outflow na ha 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh is a i will get that 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh today na after 3 after 1 year 2 year 3 years ah 2 years and 3 years everything we brought into now the present value of inflows you can compare directly with the outflow because both are comparable that's how decisions are taken everyone understood the concept or not yes, that's the point sir okay please copy down this way number 1 write down way 1 so here cash flow pv at the rate of 10% pvcf that uh, table keep it in mind minimum 3 400 times we will write the table because everywhere in sfm that will come here cash flow pv at the rate of some percentage pvcf completed yeah. completed everyone yeah. okay you can do this in way two also i will do it and i will then give a time for you to copy please see here there is a second way around to do this okay see here tell me year 1 year 2 year 3 
first year i am receiving how much 1 lakh second year also i am receiving 1 lakh third year also i am receiving 1 lakh we are multiplying this by 0 0.909 plus this we are multiplying with 0 0.826 plus this we are multiplying with 0 0.751 listening everyone these are the three cash flows see the screen now you got 90,900 82,600 all are approximations only next one 75,100 total how much you got 2,600 okay now that means 1 lakh into 0 0.909 plus 1 lakh into 0 0.826 plus 1 lakh into 0.751 these are the things you have done yes or no yes, in all these 1 lakh is a common number yes or no yes, now what I will do is 1 lakh uh, into 0 0.909 yes. plus 0 0.826 yes. plus 0 0.751 so 1 lakh into point, 2 point 4 eight. So total how much it is? 2,48,600. This is second way of doing the same. Everyone understood or not? Yes, sir. What is a common? 1 lakh. 1 lakh is a common. Therefore, whenever question is given on annuity factor in exam, you need not do like this and waste your time. Directly first you take the cash flow. Take the Multiply it with the present value or future value. Or. None of these annuity factor. What it is called as a annuity factor. 0 0.909 is? 0 0.909 is present value of one year. 0 0.826 is present value of two years. 0 0.751 is present value of three years. 2.486 is present value of 3 years annuity. Clear or not everyone? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, first copy down this. That's what I have done here. Nothing greater. Write down. Cash flow into PV factor equal to discounted cash flows. Right now, 1 lakh into 0 0.909 plus 1 lakh into 0 0.826 plus 1 lakh into 0 0.751. Once you do 1 lakh into, you can take it as 1 lakh as a common 0 0.909 plus 0 0.826 plus 0 0.751. It comes to point, sorry, 2 point four eight six. So 2.486 into 1 lakh, 2 lakh 48,600. That will be called as discounted cash flows that factor is called as a present value annuity factor so same you have done also in your ca foundation time value of money but here are you understanding the formula and its meaning or not in exam you do you should not write shortcuts sir you have to present the formula, you need to tell the meaning and write down. So 1 lakh into 0 0.909 plus 1 lakh into 0 0.826 plus 1 lakh into 0 0.751. 1 lakh into common 0 0.909 plus 0 0.826 plus 0 0.751 which gives you 2,48,600. Annuity factor of present value is 2.486. Shall we continue? Uh, see here now, 
observation number 2 sir everyone understood the way number 1 and way number 2 huh? way number 3 <coughs> see the table please open the annuity factor tables open the annuity factor tables Come to Appendix 5. Come to Appendix 5. Appendix 5. Please don't waste my time and also your time equally. Please start at seeing uh, yes, Appendix 5. Yes, First I will mark one point. Tell me this is one year factor, annuity factor. In our given example, first 1 lakh will be received? Not less any. First 1 lakh is received? Second 1 lakh? Mm. Third 1 lakh? We want future value or present value? This is a future value table. So we should not see this appendix. That's what I want to tell. Okay? Don't see this. Go to the next one. Present value factor annuity. This is what we see. Now, please, I want you, I want you to answer one question. In the given example, 10% example, we receive how many 1 lakhs? What is the annuity number you got? I will write here, you tell me, it is for how many years? At what percentage? So, see here, 10 percentage for 3 years, 2.487. That's how you got the answer. Everyone understood the point clearly? Yeah? Hello, everyone, I'm talking to you. Uh, this is how you can see the table. Now, I will give you one assignment you do. Okay? Better you do one thing. This question you copy. This is the third way you can do. This is the first way. Not recommended in exam. To know, I have written. Second way, never do this in exam. Number three, always use this. This is the way in which you need to do. Instead of putting it for three years, you can directly see. This is Present value of three years annuity. Present value of three years annuity of rupees one. One rupee, one rupee, one rupee. I will receive three times. Annuitized present value will be 2.486. Listening everyone, completed, huh? Yeah. Uh. Once you complete, I have good questions. So you will solve. Don't read any other thing below that. You are writing ways of calculating PV annuity factor. Huh? Did I ask you to write? Over action. Huh? Did I ask you to write? Ah, see here. So, okay. Leave off. Please, son. So, now we completed understanding what is the meaning of uh, annuity factor. Clear? What are the three ways we completed now? Three ways. Way number one, individual cash flow. 
way number two taking the common cash flow and adding the pv factors but the best method will be this one table approach one two three means what how to understand this first year ending end third year ending uh? first year ending to third year ending means how many cash flows are there three so for the three cash flow this is a 2.486 everyone understood the point or not yes, clear up to here yes. there is a third way take calculator how to do the pv factors annuity in the calculator everyone please use m plus you know how to use m plus yes, memory recollect yes, ah, then done take the calculator uh, now visible 1 divided by 1 divided by 1.1 don't do anything equal to m plus 3 years we want again equal to m plus again equal to m plus m r c point sorry 2.486 that's how it will come everyone understood the logic or not this is how you need to do everyone comfortable with doing this sorry i will ask you question answer i want listen 15 percent for eight years you do the annuity 15 percent for eight years annuity first till uh, bro you do sorry so how to do it 1 divided by 1.15 uh, equal to how many times sir then you will get eighth year pv factor we don't want that equal to m plus how many times you need to click answer here yeah? uh, don't tell me how much answer you got you completed you completed uh, see here i asked for how much percent sorry we will do one thing 20% for 10 years. Let's do together. 1 divided by 1.2 4.192 Have you got the answer? Yes, sir. Anyone who didn't get the answer? Ah, I will tell. Sir, one second. Some people didn't get the answer. Let us help them. See here. I asked, will you shut your mouth please for good reasons? Please. Listen. 20 percent I asked for how many years? 10 years. 20 percent means 0.2. 1 plus 0.2 equal to how much? 1.2. That clarity everyone have? So the clarity also if it is not there. Yatpalam Sri Parmeswar Arpanamastu. Gone. So please, one but twenty percent can be written as twenty percent can be written as eighteen twelve point one two. Like that, I asked for how much? Twenty one by one plus point two. One plus point two means how much? One point two. Take calculator. One divided by sorry. One divided by one point two. Okay, equal to M plus, equal to M plus, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, MRC, 4.192, three times it is in enough, 4.192, that's all, that is the answer. Did you understand how to do the annuity, bro? Understood? Ah, that answer you will get. Sorry, everyone stop. You tell the answer. I want 24% for 12 years. Stop everyone. If you want, you do. But don't tell the answer. I want everyone of you to participate. How many years I said? 12 years. 24% ah, for 12 years annuity. Three point three point eight five one correct yes, hence brood understood so <laughs> sir okay everyone understood the concept clearly uh, that's the third way there is another way to do this 
Listen. Will you please listen? You stop after that, I will start writing. Over? Happy now? Uh, okay. Now listen. You can do this way. 10% for 3 years I asked 2.486. You can understand this as follows. The formula. Interpretation of this formula I will tell you in the cost of capital chapter. Anyway, first chapter we are going to do this. 1 by R into 1 minus 1 by R whole power N. Tell me, R is how much? 0 0.10 into 1 minus 1 by 1 plus R means how much? 1.1 1. 1. 1. 1. whole power 3. 1 by 0. 0.1 1. 1 minus 1 by 1.33 1. 1. 3, 3, 1 into uh, 1 minus point 75 1 1 by point 1 into 2 4 8 uh, 2 4 8 2 4 9 uh, tell me the value now point 2 4 9 divided by point 1 0 that's all that's the answer you got this is how you can do this is a third way but the meaning of this uh, formula and interpretation behind I will not discuss now lot of uh, research is required to understand this this we will see along with the perpetual payments are there at that concept I will explain the interpretation of this formula everyone understood this or not first okay copy down this these are the four ways of doing the PV factor analysis for annuities now with this time value of money concept is completed like this you should not think listen reason is I forgot to write big notes below there is a concept called as a mid annuity ah, I will tell you what it is you write down not at completed time value of money lot of concept is still there their notes I will write along with you ways of calculating PV annuity factors Now also problem. Bro, problem for you. <laughs> write down, write down. First one is a formula. Second one is a total of PV factors. Third one table. Fourth one is a normal calculator you can use.
Zoom. Zoom. Some people who even don't know the occasion will start giving chorus. write down so 1 by 1.10 into 1 minus 1.10 whole cube completed first one completed a formula approach Completed? So we completed uh, annuity factor concept. Completed. Okay. Now please listen. I will give you some questions, try to answer one by one, like uh, whatever we understood in the today's class, in a summary way let us understand, write down miscellaneous Q and A. Before that, you kept the heading, huh? have you kept the heading? Yes, what heading? Yes. Uh, right on. Right, will you please stop? Right on. So miscellaneous Q&A, number one. What is the present value of rupees hundred received at the end of what is the present value of rupees 100 received at the end of 5 years if required rate is 15% analyze with the help of formula. Try writing the answer. First tell me, one second, I am asking you the future value of present cash loan, present value of future cash loan. What is the formula? Wow. Again, forgot to tell. Single cash loan, annuity, multiple and even perpetuala. What is the formula? First, write down clearly formula. I clearly said there, write with the help of formula. So now, 
the formula whatever you have written now you are understanding the formula and writing a uh? why to divide i said yesterday why to divide i said yesterday uh, so therefore we need to reduce the value reduction instead of doing 3 4 times we can directly divide by taking power that particular number of years yes, sir. do you understand yes, sir. formula write down the formula first what is the formula pv equal to fv divided by 1 plus r whole power n that equal to hmm, future law, what is the value rupees 100 whole divided by 1 plus clearly write down don't assume anything 1 plus r how much 0.15 whole power 5 rupees 100 divided by 1.15 whole power 5 rupees 100 divided by tell me 1.15 whole power 5 everyone please do don't copy from the notes one person will tell the answer remaining will copy that you do you also have the calculators with you 1.15 power 5 one 11 ah tell me the answer rupees 72 or okay done first one everyone understood how to do this yes, next take question number 2 i want want i don't want to wait for long time please write down along with me Mr. A invested in. Mr. A invested in. Invested in. Shall we continue? Yes, mm. Invested in commercial property. invested in commercial property giving the following inflows year how many years 5 years cash flow rupees 1 lakh rupees 90000 rupees 1 lakh 50000 rupees 4 rupees 2 lakh rupees 70000 okay you are required to you are required to ye you are required to ye identify the nature of cash flow stream b b calculate
discounted cash flows calculate discounted cash flows i am asking you two questions to do okay put the heading solution or answer tell me first what is the type of cash flow covered here <laughs> write down ha huh? i didn't understand ha uh, rate i didn't give okay write down somewhere rr at the rate of 12% net let's not always use the same 10% let's change it 12% rr at the rate of 12% the cash flow stream is called as hmm is called as <laughs> very good this is called as multiple uneven cash flows multiple uneven cash flows completed b bit so the cash flow stream is called as multiple uneven cash flow b bit calculate the dcf tell me what are all the columns that we need to open see here whatever i am highlighting here uh, tell me here so this opportunity is only for me ah uh, here okay pv factor it is not 10 just pv factor i need to change pv at the rate of 12% write down the columns clearly here cash flow pv at the rate of 12% pvcf pvcf other name is dcf anything is correct dcf or pvcf next write down year how many years 1 2 3 4 and 5 tell me what is the cash flow for the first year rupees 1 lakh second year 90000 Rupees seventy thousand, twelve percent PV factor. Please tell me what are the PV factors at twelve percent? One by one. Eight nine two. Eight nine. Eight nine three. Next point. Seven. Next. next next hmm. multiply 1 lakh into 0.893 so don't waste time everyone rupees 89000 300 second one next 1 lakh next 1 lakh 27000 200 last one 6 90 One second, one second, one second, one second. Ah, uh, now tell me four lakh. Four 
फोर लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन ट्वेंटी दिस कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज सम ऑफ ऑल दी डिस्काउंटेड कैश लॉस फोर लैक थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन ट्वेंटी एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड द क्वेश्चन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री मिस्टर ये इन्वेस्टेड इन थाउजेंड बॉन्ड्स ऑफ TCS paying a coupon of twelve percent, paying a coupon of twelve percent on par value of rupees thousand. for 5 years you are required to identify the nature of cash flow b calculate dcf calculate dcf answer one by one you tell me we will write together first tell me what nature of cash flow does it belong to it is a multiple cash flow na yes, yes. but even a uneven a that is also called as what write down this is an annuity cash flow also called as also called as multiple even cash flow multiple even cash flow shall we proceed further everyone b right on calculation of calculation of discounted cash flow calculation of discounted cash flow calculation of discounted cash flow okay uh, now tell me calculation of discounted cash flow one second one second must and should write down the table take the table same content you copy means you need to write uh, percentage is how much rr not given again same write down somewhere 12% is coupon yeah don't get excited coupon is applied on par value you will expect something company is paying 12 12% is called as a cash flow percentage you are expecting at the rate of 15% 12% is for cash flow calculation you will expect 15 company paying 12 impact everything first chapter we will see cost of capital so pv should be always coupon rate or it should be required rate 
you require how much percent? 15. But company is paying only how much? 12. That's how you should understand. Okay. Write down there year. Year 1. How much cash flow? No. Like this you need to do. 1000 rupee bond. How many bonds he is holding? How many bonds? 1000 bonds. At how much uh, interest rate? How much percent? Uh, 12. 1000. Huh? 12%. Interest paid by company is 12%. The cash flow you are getting is 12%. You are expecting how much percent? 15. Meaning of that we can see in the first chapter. Tell me. 1000 into 1000. How much? Answer sir. 1000 into 1000. 10 lakh into 12%. 1 lakh. 1 lakh 20,000. Here I have done one mistake. What is it? I am trying someone has to tell but you are not even telling the mistake. What is the mistake I have written here? It should be 1 na, 1 to 5. Ha. Yes. Write down 1 to 5. We are doing which cash flow? Annuity. Annuity, I, I told you already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Don't write like that. Waste of time. Now everyone tell me what is my interest rate? Wrong again. Arre, where are you here? What is your interest rate? What you are expecting? How much company is paying you? What is the coupon rate? What is the required rate? Both are different. 12 is what you get. 15 is what I am expecting. Clear everyone? Uh, so discounting should be done by my rate. Uh, discounting should be done by company's rate. Uh, my rate. Cash loss is your rate. Discounting will be done by my rate of return. Meaning, logic, everything. First chapter we will see. Just calculation only I want uh, uh, at this stage. So now tell me, I want, everyone use calculator, 15% for 5 years annuity factor, present value of annuity. Everyone, 3.35, 2, uh, multiply. Hmm, tell the answer. 4 lakh 2000 to 40. 4 lakh 2000 to 40. 4 lakh 2000 to 40. That's all. This is a calculation of, this is a calculation of discounted cash flows. Done everyone. How many cash flows additional problems we have done now? Single you have done. First single, single. Single you have done. Next one. Multiple, even, uneven. Uneven you have done. Next one. Annuity you have done. Perpetual don't do now. Because first and second chapters only perpetual will come. Anyway how to explain there. Clear everyone. Don't do anything at that time. I will give you the fourth question. You do that on your own. I will give you five minutes of time. After that, I will give you the answer for that. I will do. Okay. That concept is based on mid annuity. You try. You try. Everything don't copy from me. You try. Question four. Write down. Question four. Okay. See here, question 4.
This is a five marks question tested in CA final. This is from a chapter called as bond valuation. What is the name? Bond valuation. Horrible concepts will be there from that basic question I am asking you. Fifth question. Let's read together. Mess, sixth one, sorry, sixth one. Messrs. Agfa Industries is planning to issue a debenture series on following terms. Face value 100, term is 7 years. Yearly coupon rates. Yearly coupon means cash loss RR. Coupon means cash loss are required rate. Cash flow. Coupon is what? Company give. RR is what? You expect. Market rate of interest on similar debentures is how much? 15. But company is giving a yield return of how much percent? 16. So tell me, RR is 15 or 16 or 16. Redemption at a premium of how much? 5. Tell me, what is the face value? Answer. How many years life? Means how many coupons I will receive? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All the 7 years coupons, this is annuitya annuitya or it is a multiple anivana <laughs> both see there mid annuities to make our life miserable are you seeing there or not everyone first to two years what is the interest rate three four five six seven I want the answer. Start doing. Ah, do, do, do. Simple problem. Bacha also will do. You ignore. One second. No, ah, not even ignoring. Why do you ignore? See here. What is this? Premium of? Premium means we need to add a deductor. I want your answer. First, you tell me one point. Just a minute. Question visible to everyone? Question visible to everyone? Uh, even if not visible, I can't do anything. See here. Look at the scenario once. This particular debenture, what is the par value? Uh, see and tell me how much interest I will get on first year. Amount. 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 8 rupees. Second year? 8 rupees, 12 per 12 rupees. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seventh year. Understood the point? Da? So, year cash flow you, un you understood now. But don't do like this. You are again dividing and splitting into seven parts. Don't do that. Do like what they give. Clear or not everyone? Uh, that means you need to take annuity of 1, 2, annuity of 3, 4, annuity of 5, 6, 7. Sir, how sir? A question will arise or not? Sorry, okay. Next, last year how much I receive? Last year how much I receive interest? Are you see there and tell you everyone? Last year how much interest I will get? 15. Plus redemption 105. What is a par? Redemption is at par at premium. Premium of how much? 100 plus 5 percent? So tell me, what are the cash flows? First, year 1? Year 1? 2? Those two form but one annuity. Uh, next. Next. Those two form part of another annuity. Next. 15, 15, 15, another annuity. Lastly, again 7th year, 105 will come. How many cash flows? Start from the beginning again. 1, 2, 1 and 2, 8, 3 and 4, 12, 5, 6, 7, 7th year again, 105. Did you understand how to do that? Tell me, year? 
cash flow pv at the rate of see the screen again first see the problem i will not leave you never i will do that even when we are doing capital budgeting at least 5 to 10 problems we will do ca final questions okay at least 5 to 10 problems we, i will give you ca final questions directly i will open the institute study material for ca final you do extremes lo ne you do everything okay inter la inter syllabus bachcha also will do okay inter la inter syllabus every bachcha will do who do final in inter will be the boss okay that person will stand in premium inter la inter questions everyone will do are you understand final you will do cfa questions yes i know what question next comes so final la so many questions in my book are from cfa level will be more than more uh, greater than what the ca questions will come so therefore don't get excited see the worst case scenario exam lo you will feel comfortable see the question i ask you the question answer how many cash flows are there eight cash flows will come seven coupons one redemption common sense number one broken again start from the beginning how many cash flows are there what name the cash flows first year interest second year interest third year interest fourth year interest fifth year interest sixth year interest Seventh year interest, eighth year redemption. That eighth year, not eighth year, sorry, eighth cash flow comes at the end of seventh year. Seventh year, how many cash flows will come? Two. One coupon, one interest, and another one is redemption. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Now, first two years, year cash flow PV at the rate of. Uh, 16% not 15 pv at the rate of 16% pvcf 1 and 2 3 and 4 3 3 and 4 5 6 and 7 means 5 to 7 3 cash flows lastly what you should add 7 what is the 7 one 100 or 105 or 105 will you try to do at least start doing wrong or right try your one try in the rough don't spoil the notes that's why i ask you not to copy try in a rough don't spoil the main notes sir redemption means principal repayment sir when you give a loan five years loan means fifth year end you have to repay the principal or not first five years you got the interest fifth year you need to pay the principal when paying the principal of 100 you are paying your year we are getting inflow first year you got a coupon second year third year fourth year fifth year sixth year seventh year you got a coupon seventh year what you gave as a principal also should come back they are giving back at 100 they are giving back at premium premium is added or deducted added how much premium 5% 100 plus 5% or not 5 so seventh year along with one coupon you will also get the redemption principal whatever you have given do
so the meaning of redemption is so simply one second ca foundation have you have you heard about a word called as a debenture 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 is a loan taken by company or equity issued by company sorry now tell me listen you are investing in debentures you are investing in debentures of a company means you are giving a loan or taking a loan you use common sense first point company issuing debentures you took debenture and gave money to company now you are giving loan or taking loan answer here i am giving a loan of 100 rupees how much how much 100 is a principal okay 100 is the principal you have given principal on the principal 7 years they paid interest 7th year ending they said bye bye you should not tell bye bye unless and until you also pay me my principal back i have given you 100 at the beginning are you answer or not everyone you took a loan from a bank one second stop writing you answer me first you took a loan from a bank 20 lakhs loan you paid interest for 10 years that's all bank will leave you ah huh? what you should pay uh, then principal who will pay so like that in case of bank they will collect the principal from the first month onwards using emi model but in case of company debentures emi model they will not use therefore first what they will pay you interest they will pay last year they will pay you back your principal clear or not everyone so tell me one 100 rupees is the principal they are paying back principal principal plus premium how much premium means total how much you will get back that's all 105 will come today na after 7 years ah now everyone understood the question basic time value of money question was asked in exam with a mid annuity adjustment try to do i don't know answer i didn't remember actually where is 105 okay this is 7 uh, years sir uh, 7th year yes 7th year ah uh. what is this 105 into steel percentage see again why you are adding 15 here only redemption you will get 105 only your principal you are getting back what you have done don't do like this i told you already do in annuity model ammo rang ammo hey why you are getting that much answer no don't see the book do with calculator rang are 100 one second use common sense 100 coupon hey hey 100 face value 8% interest and 8 rupees kada ra why you are written 100 do again biscuit answer no namaste welcome Wrong. 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 You didn't even start. Eh? Very good. I don't know. I don't think that that is the right answer. Wrong. How much? 55. Huh? How much? 
వన్ నాట్ సెవెన్ ఆ ఎయిటీ టూ మేబీ దిస్ ఈస్ రైట్ Ah, who has done? One second, I will come. Bro. Come on. Bro. Check the answer once again. Wrong. Wrong. Correct. Wrong. Wrong. Correct. Wrong. రాంగ్ రాంగ్ వై ఎవ్రీ టూ పీపుల్ విల్ గెట్ ద సేమ్ ఆన్సర్ అదే హౌ మచ్ రాంగ్ రాంగ్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ వన్ నాట్ సెవెంత్ ఇయర్ ఎండింగ్ డిస్కౌంట్ ఫర్ సెవెన్ టైమ్స్ వన్ నాట్ ఫైవ్ డివైడెడ్ బై వన్ ప్లస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఆర్ సిక్స్టీన్ వన్ ప్లస్ జీరో పాయింట్ వన్ సిక్స్ పవర్ సెవెన్ దిస్ ఈస్ రాంగ్ హౌ మచ్ రాంగ్ రాంగ్ కరెక్ట్ How much? Wrong, wrong. Wrong, wrong. How much? Wrong. Wrong. Sir, I will do. So listen. Everyone, please listen. Uh, now listen. This concept of question is called as mid-annuity questions. Okay? like this in ca inter they have tested only once but not this extreme they went basics la they tested on mid annuity question study material only has this question one question which is given as an example inside the study material that to in the first chapter a cost of capital when we come to the cost of capital chapter i will show you similar problem to this in ca inter okay Uh, now listen i will also do along with you but please help me with the numbers uh, two three persons uh, have done the answer correctly very good but uh, let me do the answer formally to make you understand first uh, write down did you write the question there no let us write down calculate please write down calculate in the following case calculate present value of cash flows in the following case please write down year 1 2 2 3 2 4 5 2 7 and 7 no need of redemptions all those things plain question you write down cash flow rupees 8 rupees 12 rupees 15 rupees 105 this is a uh, question which is decoded into numbers for this uh, so much a circus you are doing i don't know why 
some people are getting 530 666 why you are getting that much numbers yeah sir i will tell you some people are multiplying directly with 100 100 into 8 percent is the interest 8 rupees directly 100 into annuity factor some person got 1172 <laughs> you should keep him in temple worship him for so long period how can you write like that 1100 you use your brain when you are doing write down so here cash flow write down here below write down rr at the rate of 16 percent rr 16 percent rr 16 percent i will first to do i will give time for you to copy because it requires some working so please let me first to do see here help me with the numbers help me with the numbers everyone first tell me year 1 and 2 how much is the cash flow year 3 and 4 year 5 to 7 year 7 First one, everyone under shop to hear. Huh? Yes, sir. Everyone under shop to hear. Yes, sir. Very good. Next. One second. Please. See the screen. How much is the PV factor given? How much, sir? Now tell me. We want 16% for one year, two years. Two years. Answer? Two years. How to do? Normal annuity. How to do? Take calculator. 1 divided by 1.16. Equal to M plus. Equal to M plus. That everyone has done correctly. For that I am happy. Uh, tell me what is the value? 1.605. Next. Listen. I want for 3 and 4. How to do 3 and 4? You can do it in two ways. Will you stop copying everyone? I ask not to copy. Listen first. You know the calculation of annuity. Mid annuity factors calculation. If you don't understand, what if you get, you copy the answers. Listen. First one everyone understood clearly. Yeah? We want annuity for 4 years. Huh? First two. Huh? Answer here. Yeah. Next week, we, we want for? Not for first two. We want for three and four. How to do? First, do the annuity for four years. Reduce from 1.605. How many years you need to do? Four years you do. From the four years answer, remove this 1.605. Balance will be for three and four. One second. One second, everyone. Again, repeat. We want annuity for which two years? Three and four. Answer. Three and four. So now tell me, if you want for three and four, how to do? Not answering, start from beginning. We want annuity for one and two, three and four. Three and four. How to do? First calculate the annuity for four years. We don't want four years now. Therefore reduce what? 1.605. What is remaining will be? Three and four. Listening or not? Yes, sir. In the calculator you do this. Four years annuity. One. I will write roughly one point. One. One nine three. Answer. Huh? No, no. I don't want answer. I want total first. Four years. What is? Two point. Eight. Huh? We want four years, huh? we want two years. Huh? Two Which two years? years? This is for one to four. This is one to four. From this, if I remove one to, whatever is remaining will be the three and uh, four. 
What is the one two number? One point six zero five. What is the balance? One point one nine three. Correct? Ah. Don't do like this also. Ah, that's why don't do our action. Listen first. This is uh, giving a correct answer, but not recommended. Why? I will tell you. Capital budgeting. The same the questions came. Listening. Yes, At the time they will give twenty years cash flow. You will die reducing nineteen times. Tell me, if you do in this model for five and five to seven, what you have to do? First PV factors for seven you will take. Yes, sir. No, everyone. You have to calculate PV factors for seven years. From that you should reduce one point one nine three. Minus one point six zero five. How many times you have to reduce? Not listening. Start from beginning again. Tell me, if it is for a seven years cash flow, so see there, see the screen. One to two. What is the PV AF? What is the annuity factor for one and two? I want for three and four. First we have to calculate for four years. Reduce the. One and two. What will be the remaining? Will be the balance of our three and four. Then five to seven. How to do? Are you use your brain answer? Five to seven. How to do? First, we have to do for how many years annuity? Seven years. We want for all seven. Ah, five, six, seven. Ah, means we need to reduce one, two, three, four. Therefore, we need to reduce one point one nine three minus. 1.605 then you will get the value yes or no yes sir sare i want this problem doesn't end here say for example i want 8 9 10 how to do first what you have to do what you have to do 10 years annuity you have to calculate okay from that how many times you need to reduce three times you need to reduce back i want for okay 8 9 10 kada 11 12 12 times so four times reduction is it practical yes it is not at all practical therefore there should be an alternative for doing this or not the best way to do this is i will tell you you do that take calculator one divided by one second no avesham listen first i need complete one divided by 1.16 that's all equal to Don't do any M plus. You press the equal to or not? First year over. Again equal to. Second year over. Three. Now put it M plus. Four. Now put it M plus. MRC. One point one nine three. This is the best way. Are you understanding or not, everyone? Some people didn't even put hand on calculator. Answer also over. They are not understanding what is happening. Do again. Start. One divided by. 1.16 equal to don't put m plus we want for 1 to 3 3 and 4 ah therefore m plus only for third year and fourth year ah wrong <laughs> do correctly ah two okay three m plus four M plus M R C. That's all. Answer over. Congratulations. <laughs> so, everyone understood or not? Yes, so instead of doing that big procedure and reducing, this is the best method through calculators you can do. Everyone understood or not? Yes, How many of you didn't understand this calculation? I will tell once again. If you didn't understand, so now tell me, will you do for five, six, seven? Yes, do it. Ooh. How to do? First, we need to do for seven. After that, reducing. Ah, uh, directly equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to. First five, ah, uh, first four years to so forget. Fifth year, M plus sixth year, M plus seventh year, M plus C M R C. First, tell me this row. Everyone understood? Ah, yes, this. Uh, How to do? Yes, sir. Huh? How to do? 
ಅದೇ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ರೆ ಹೌ ಟು ಡು ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡು ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ನೋ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ನೋ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಎಂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಒನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ that's the way to do the mid annuity problems so these are called as mid annuities understood the concept everyone let's do the answer 16% now you tell the answer 1.193 1 1.193 1 something you said 1.1.0 ah 7th year i want 7 year sa 7th year ah Seventh year, tell me the value. Zero point? Three? Four. That's why I told very clearly at the beginning itself. Seven does not mean seven years. Seven means what? Seventh year ending. Some people still getting confusion on that. Means they didn't listen properly the introduction. So this is not seven years. This is what? Seventh year. multiply give the numbers first one 12 12.84 next two digits only 14.32 next 18.61 na 6 okay rupees 37. tell me what is the 82.926 means 93 everyone understood how to do this or not everyone how many of you got this answer first time itself please stand how many of you got please stand how many of you got 82.93 in the first time itself very good super thank you so ah must be you also got the thank you thank you very much so everyone got the answer now at least now you understood so what is the answer that we got 82.93 first lesson carefully this is a model in which we have to do the mid annuity okay below write down note this concept is called as this concept is called as mid annuity cash flow mid annuity cash flow take the corresponding batch of years and press m plus only for that batch understood the meaning everyone if you want for 10 to 14 only for the 10 11 12 13 14 5 years you need to press the m plus and mrc remaining directly you can do that saves at least 85 to 90 percent of the time taken for that reduction concept clear everyone this is a shortcut you can use in calculator you can do okay 
so this is the this is the concept of mid annuity listening everyone completed writing okay next fifth one question number 5 compare and contrast compare and contrast rupees 1 receive for 3 years and rupees 3 received at the end of third year do you understand the question 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee 3 years i received what is the difference between receiving 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee for 3 years and receiving 3 rupees at the end of third year ah that is okay i'm not asking about that valuation comparison we need to do did you understand the point or not sir what is the difference between 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee received for three years and three three rupee received at the end of third year 1 rupee 1 rupee 1 rupee received for three years is single cash na multiple ani vena annuity ya answer annuity three rupees received at the end of third year answer now you should answer me required return write down that required return 10% required return 10% shall we continue by seeing them which will be a higher value 111 for 3 years sir 3 rupees at the end of third year which will have a more value so like this no one can can tell okay you have to do start doing compare and contrast so write down answer this is a comparison between rupees 1 annuity cash flow of 3 years with rupees 3 single cash flow at the end of 3 year at the end of third year sir if anyone is having a ramzan fasting you can leave nothing great i am going to deal because i mean nothing great i am going to deal mean new concept is not there old concept in a different way others don't move so this is a comparison between rup same reason ah huh? oh, thank you then okay so this is a comparison between rupi you also same reason really allah tera bala karega <laughs> so this is a compare <laughs> they same reason <laughs> leave Hey. Leave, leave, run. Uh, shall we continue? Any others? No. Okay, let's go. Kisha. Sir, okay, see there. This is a... Hey, three minutes I added now. 
to the class. Five minutes, five minutes. Ten minutes. This is a comparison between, read, this is a comparison between rupees one annuity cash flow for three years uh, and uh, rupees three single cash flow at the end of uh, third year. Clear? And now, comparison completed. We are comparing these two. Contrast means you should show the reasoning and the differences between both of them. Shall we do? Yes, sir. Let's do that. A. PVAF of rupees 1, 3 years. You should tell me the answer. Write down, write down, write down, write down. Here, cash flow, PV at the rate of 10%, PVCF. Everyone do it clearly here. 1, 2, 3. How much cash flow? Rupees? 1. 4, 8? 7. Four, eight. Already you have seen this in the table also. Some people are very busy in copying the answers. Namaste to everyone. Put your heads down. Answer. Don't see the answers here. Why you are copying from the board here when you have a capability to do? Completed, huh? How much you got? 2.487. Next, B. Present value factor of rupees 3. This is not 3 years. This is 3rd year. Now, how to do this? Nothing you need to do directly formula PV equal to single cash flow formula F E divided by 1 plus R whole power N. Okay. F E how much? 3 divided by 1.10 whole power 3. So rupees 3 divided by 1.331. Correct? Ah? We have done already. Uh, tell rupees. 2 point? 2 5 4. Uh? Okay. 2 5 4. Now. What is the difference? Difference means don't do subtraction until. Not that difference. There also 3 rupee. Here also 3 rupee. But answer is not same. Any reasoning? Uh -huh. That everyone know. I want wise answer. So first point. Doing the answer is the work of a graduate. Analyzing the reason is the work of professional. Okay? Seriously. That is the work of a professional. Professional will not tell the answers. They will give the analysis for that. Why it happened? Then I will rectify if you tell why. You are telling it is high, it is low. Normal graduate also will tell that. But how and why? Why this happened? Is a question. Answer is in the one second. First is, is a annuity cash flow or not? And I can write like this one, one, and one. First year, second year, third year, rupees one, rupees one, rupees one. Tell me, first year, how much I received? I'm not asking second case of three rupees. Okay, first year, how much I received? <coughs> Answer? Second year? Second year? Third year? First year 1 rupee can be reinvested for 2 years. Second year 1 rupee can be reinvested for 1 year. Third year 1 rupee directly I will take. In the second case, reinvestment concept is not there. That's why it is lower. Are you understanding the point clearly or not? That means what gave the more value? Reinvestment has given more value. Did you understand the point or not? Yes, Write down the reasoning.
present value of rupees 1 annuity cash flow is having more value because rupees 1 at the first year is reinvested for 2 years at a 10% at a 10% rupees 1 at the end of second year is reinvested for one year at the rate of 10% at the rate of 10% rupees 1 at the end of third year is taken as it is is taken as it is is taken as it is now listen rupees 3 in the second case is reinvested or not reinvested continue writing on the other hand On the other hand, rupees 3 received, rupees 3 received at the end of third year is not possible of reinvesting elsewhere therefore therefore present value annuity cash flow is having more value is having more value did you understand the analysis or not yes, not yet completed continue this can be understood as and as follows last point three minutes please write and leave we'll complete time value of money by today okay this can be understood as follows right now here cash flow balance years reinvestment maturity value maturity value you should tell the answer and write down. I am expecting answers from you. Don't copy. Tell me, when it is, first, which kind of cash flow we need to take? Which one? 
annuity. Tell me, annuity, one second, second type of cash flow, I am receiving cash flow today, na, after three years. Sir. After three years. Answer? After three years. So, one second, I will make it full screen. Uh, see here, I am receiving 3 rupees at the end of first era, second era, third era. Third era. Huh? Third era. Now see the magic. See there. Annuity cash flow. Year 1, year 2, year 3. First keep the years. Listening. Tell me, cash flow at the end of first year? 1 rupee. Second year? 1 rupee. Third year? 1 rupee. Tell me, first year 1 rupee will be ideal or reinvested for three years ha? next next so reinvestment how it will be rupees one uh, into 1.10 whole square next rupees one into 1.10 power one are you understanding and writing or not next third one rupees one into 1.10 power 0. That is okay. Uh, tell the first value. 1 point 2 2 1. Next. 1 point 1. Next. 1. You should tell me now. How much is the value? 3.31. Now tell me. Everyone answer my question clearly. At the end of third year, at the end of a third year, I am receiving how much? Not answering. Tell me, at the end of third year, I am receiving how much? In the second option, how much I am receiving? Therefore, receiving 111 for 3 years is better than receiving 3 at the end of 3rd year. Because that becomes 3.31 at the end of 3 years, that is only 3. 3 versus 3.31, which is better? That's why first option became better for you. Are you understanding the concept clearly or not everyone? That's the way in which they have analyzed it. Everyone understood the concept or not? Uh, with this, we have completed time value of money and its intricate concepts inside everyone understood the concept clearly or not yes, sir. this is introduction to the financial management okay next class onwards we are going to start with our first chapter called as cost of capital first one tell me everyone everyone please respond properly first two classes Seven hours we have taken to complete the uh, time well of money chapter. Are you all comfortable with the chapter or not? Yes, sir. Pakka, full clear? Yes, sir. Understood this or not? Yes, sir. What is the crucial thing in financial management? The reinvestments. Clear everyone? So that's how we need to compare and contrast two issues. So this is a classic example. Hope everyone understood the concept clearly. Yeah? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We'll meet again in the next class. Bye.